15 years ago, the capital city of Westamar became a living tomb. The meteor of falling fire landed in Drakenheim. The impact alone was enough to ruin several districts of the city. The arcane fallout, a magical stone known as delirium, and the haze that it spawns have slowly poisoned the rest. Now, Drakenheim is a tomb. My children are lost. My husband, the king of Westamar, like most of the city, is dead. The rest, slowly dying. Or worse. Every attempt to revive the city has just led more valiant souls to slaughter. Often by the mutated wretches within the city but just as often by another group of would-be saviors whose goals did not align. None truly traveled to Drakenheim by choice, but rather by need. Some have a need for glory, others redemption. Worse still, some have a need for power or wealth, Greed cannot be satiated anywhere else. What do you need from the denizens of Drakenheim? Good evening, everyone. It is Saturday night, and we are back for some more denizens of Drakenheim. We got a full crew tonight. Uh, I am always, as always, am your GM, DM, Master of Ceremonies, all-around good guy, W. Adam Clark, uh, and I spent a large chunk of today rewriting something that had already been written because the project that it was designed to coincide with just got changed so cascade alterations needed to happen <laughs> oh boy so that's it for me what's everybody else got tonight I have nothing. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, <laughs> wait a minute. Oh dear, this is not good. Oh well, I spent I spent my day cleaning. I was supposed to put on holiday lights tonight, so. Oh, I'm sorry. That, that didn't that didn't end up happening. Uh, I ended up. Cleaning took a lot longer, so holiday lights are going to have to wait until either tomorrow or Monday. I was going to say, I can kill you off real quick so you can, you know, go and take care of that if you want. Please don't. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. I think I'd rather die in real life than put up Christmas lights. <laughs> no, I like putting up Christmas lights. I just don't like doing it before December. Anyways, I'll go first. Um, uh, I play, I'm Michael, I play Adrian our astral elf warlock uh fun fact about adrian is um he does not remember his age so he could be 200 years old he could be 2000 years old he could be 15 years old no one knows nice he doesn't know and his birthday so he, he doesn't know his astrological sign either that's 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 a problem and and he's not sure what his current i guess we'll call it body donors age is either so exactly so, so he's got two different birthdays that he doesn't know hey i kind of want i gotta get my birthday uh tattooed on my body somewhere in case some ghost takes it over they know what <laughs> my birthday is 
Okay, uh, so hi, I'm Ben. I'm playing uh, Victor, the human beast barbarian. Uh, Victor's fun fact this week. Um, uh, Victor's birthday is August 31st, which makes him a Virgo. Yes, Victor is a Victor the Virgo. So um, uh, he loves he loves beauty. Uh, ultimately, uh, in his spare time, uh, Victor likes to write poetry, he paints. Um, and uh, unfortunately, in this campaign, I, I don't imagine he'll get as many opportunities to do that as, as he might uh, if uh, things were different. But yep. um, that's, I mean, uh, fun fact for Victor is well learned, so I mean, it, it makes sense, and he may get those opportunities. Who knows? Yeah. We'll see. I've got, I've got to think it'll happen at least once. Got to think it'll happen at least once. Anyway, hey folks, I'm the old bacon eater. I'm old. I eat bacon. I play games badly. I'm working from home next week, and it sucks. I actually hate it because it's right over to my left. And I'm fighting the urge to go work, which yep. I really don't want to do. Screw this noise. I'm going to play Drakenheim and say it with me, kids. Do the dumb. Anyway, do the dumb. Let's do the dumb. And I'm Jerrica, uh, Jenny Outrageous on Twitter and Twitch. Uh, I play Donna York Copperdale, the Amethyst Academy Necromancy Wizard. Um... For Donna's care, for Donna's thing, I don't know. I I, I just kind of designed her to look like I said. I think I mentioned it before, but she's kind of designed to look look kind of like, like a Bloodborne character. That was kind of my 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 first thought. My first <laughs> so make make it make her make her like a blood like a gothy looking blood character from from Bloodborne, and then we'll go from there and make her just dis, this disarmingly charismatic for a wizard. <laughs> oh, I think you pulled that off pretty well. <laughs> Yeah, that. Bloodborne's a great place to pull inspiration from, especially for Drakenheim, right? Like it, it, it lines up pretty well. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. So, oh, who can remember what happened the last time everybody was here? It's Drakenheim, so at some point I'll learn Call Beyond. <laughs> we started um, by going for coffee. Yes. And that they can all let you take it. Um, wow. We went. To, we went to get coffee, mm -hmm. and we had a, a a morality and and ideological debate over coffee between Donna and Victor and everyone else. And Donna and Victor both gave off their back some of their backstory with Victor being ex experimented on by the Pale Man, which is why he hates. Uh, Malfeasant wizards and magic and stuff, and Donna went off went on about her her backstory about being uh, hunted by her own village and family because of the way she was born, and being saved by the Anthus Academy, which is the only reason why she's still alive. And she how she she doesn't she, she's um yeah that and all, all that stuff. And then after all that, uh, Victor's uh, double is uh, better half. Is a better half. Went, went on a, a fun little rampage around town and ripped a, ripped uh, ripped Aldor's shirt of all things, and was also probably back uh, back kicked by a gorgon. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, with the with the party waking up and getting fighting the destruction of of the town, they trailed trace it back to Victor's place, where another fight broke out, where we all kind of fought Victor as he tried to transform and back into his his, his, his other half. Uh, Donna trying to stare him down like David versus Goliath and uh, almo almost getting maimed in the process, but the last minute uh, pulling away. Um, after that, uh, we decided to go to investigate that farmhouse, but then that card was played and then we had to go fight a bunch of gnolls and a bunch of rats. Yep. And, and now we get, threat we prints. Now we've met the Rat Prince, who says that he has a, a lead on on where to find one of the one of the seals of Drakenheim. Yep. Good old Ratty Rat. My boy. My boy. Standing citizen. Very yeah. trustworthy. Oh, totally, totally, completely, completely trustworthy. No, no reason to be concerned whatsoever. He's going to be our best under the table asset ever. Only because he fits in there so easily. <laughs> All right. So, 
Always trust a rat. Squeaky, squeaky. Um, the last... So, at the very end of the session was pretty much finishing up the fight, having the discussion with the rat prince, uh, and you guys were on the road to Dietrich Farm. And you with, have... With the, you, with the rat prince... Oh, go, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, that's what I was wondering. With the, with the way the rat prince is pointing, is does it seem like, like what he's asking us is on the on the way to Diedrich Farm, or is it like a other direction? Um, give me an insight roll. Okay. Mm -hmm. You would guess, uh, based on hand gestures in between them running around like crazy, um, that it is probably not something you can reach, like, in the immediate vicinity. Okay. I have to turn down a light. I just realized that while the stream can't see a light bulb, it's... I moved the light to try to put a little bit better lighting on the wall, and it's potentially blinding my players at the moment. So give me one second to tone that effort down a little bit. I just assumed Night Stream was brought to us by J.J. Abrams. <laughs> <laughs> the lens flare. All right. So, still lens flare, but less blinding. That's a more proper lens flare. Yeah. It's green. Anyway. So, um, well, we weren't uh, married to Dietrich Farm. Uh, seems like this is a very promising lead. And um, am I mistaken in thinking everybody wants to get inside the city walls? Right. That's what all our characters want. So. That's, yeah. No, that's very true. Yeah, so you have your your possible leads, like immediate immediate moment leads, would be either um, uh, going with the Rat Prince, or going to Dietrich Farm and going with the Rat Prince at another point, or and the other two things that are still outdated on your on your schedule that you know are going to happen at the in in the interim are you're going to meet the contact from Blackjack Mel to go into the city in four days, and Blackjack Mel is going to send people to Reed Manor in three days. Yep. So, so the whole point of the whole... Uh, yeah, I mean, the whole point of working with the Queen of Thieves was to get into the city if this rat can get us in, you know? Uh, Damn, maybe... Girl. Yeah. So... Keeping in mind, this is Bacon speaking, not Bart speaking. I really need to get into character. Excuse me. That's okay. Nope, you're good so uh, far. Yeah. Hmm. No, but definitely, uh, Victor is, uh, he's thinking no bueno on this rat. He's thinking this rat is, uh, he's, he's, he's big trouble. Um, but, uh, but, uh, but I, Ben, I'm like, let's go. <laughs> this is yeah. awesome. So, yes, 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 yes. So, so I can, I can take you into, into the city to show you where, where you can find one of the Manling Chinese, or if, if you want, I can, I can come with you to, to where you're headed first, and then we can go after you finish that. I, I, either works for me. I, I, I still have to report back, and it's just me, so I have time. How dangerous is the road there? Between between here and and seeing this shiny of yours. Oh, pretty dangerous. It's it's under the city. Yes, but you're just a rat, and you managed to survive quite handily. I survive because we are because I always travel with smaller rats, and when big things come, I push smaller rats in the way and go the other way. Oh. He looks it around, and, and, and as he says that, he looks around and he goes, "But all four of you are bigger than me." I kind of turn to my compatriots and say, "Well, um, I don't know if we can meet up with him in the future. I don't know if such a creature would even have a notion of 
a bargain or a, a long-standing uh, agreement. If Even if we do manage to find him again, I don't know if he would even remember us or respect that we saved him. I so remember. I, just, I have good memory. I remember everything that happened in the last two months. Wow, really? Well, everything I did, at least. Wow. Hmm. And I believe the old saying is right while the iron's hot, so I think maybe we should follow this little creature for now. I think that sounds like a good idea. Okie doke. How far away is this little rat? Under the circumstances. Um, we would have to... There, There's ways under the wall. There, there's, there's tunnels. And we would take one of those tunnels, yes, 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 and we would go from outside wall to inside wall, and then into sewers. And then from sewers, we would be able to get to where the Manling Shiny is. Hmm. Have any of you ever been in the sewers before? No. I try not. I try my best to avoid such places. Yeah, there wasn't really good eating in the sewers. Me and the big guy didn't wander down there too often, from what I remember. Oh, there's great eating in the sewers. There's there's there, there's regular rats, and then there's dead rat people, and then there's fishers and there, there, there's and then sometimes snakes uh, there's there, there's plenty of plenty of food in in the sewers i i, I believe you uh, it's just at the time i did not find those particularly appetizing up uh, who knows maybe uh, it's it's my taste of change I, I don't mean to offend you mr rat prince oh it's fine our our issue is probably different dietary restrictions that's fair. Hmm. All right, then. Show us I don't know place. if this creature has the notion of dietary restrictions. Possibly not, but still. Consensus is... Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Consensus. Or of Fuji. Time flies. Let us be off. Hmm. All right. So... <laughs> We're going to trust in fate. Fate will get us out of here. Yeah, that's never been a bad call. Okay, so uh, you guys are currently, if you look at the map that I just shared with you, just to give everybody a reminder, um, you are currently working your way around the east side of the city. So let's say you are right now... Um, somewhere along... Like that, you're not even like into the the outside edge of the map, but you would be somewhere along that left side. Um, let's say pretty much just slightly south of the Cairn Hills right now. Okay, so we've already passed Shepherd's Way. Yeah. Okay. Good. And. As the party has trickernated me, give me one second. <laughs> I mean, that's what parties do. It's fine. Yeah, that, that is that is the. When way. you get trickernated, you just deploy some trickernometry. <laughs> exactly. Oh. Yeah, you should be able to figure it out like that. That wasn't terrible at all. Oh, not even a little bit. All right. So you begin to travel into what is generally called the sprawl, which is to say the area of Drakenheim that continued to expand beyond the reach of the wall. And your little rat friend is taking you like up a block, over a block, 
up, but then over half a block and down three and then back around. Like he's going a very circuitous route, um, trying to take you to a location. If it's because he's trying to get you lost or he doesn't know where it is, or he's trying to avoid what he considers to be bigger problems than he wants to deal with. Any of those options could be available, and you're not sure which. I like um, to imagine, I don't know if you've thought of, if you've tried to find like a passage in a book. You're like, I know where on the page it is, right. but I don't know which page it is. So you're like flipping through pages. I know it's like, in this oh, chapter it's in, like, somewhere. It's like in the right corner of a building, thinks the rat friend. So he's like, was it up further or back? That's what I like to think. That's I think the rat prince is trying to bring us to a secondary location. Uh, I can't imagine it could be that dangerous. Uh, this creature is, I imagine, fundamentally self-interested. He wouldn't want to go in a dangerous place um, himself, you know, even if he was leading us there. Danger seems to find people when they least want it in Drakenheim. I mean, that is also true. That is very, very true. Alright. On the other hand, when do people most want danger? Uh, also, it is about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, at this point, by the time you get to where we're going to be in, in the city, let's say it's a about three and let me go ahead and pull some characters onto a map sometimes people like danger depends on what you're into i suppose no that's that is admittedly very true and also let's face it with that <clears throat> to reach goals sometimes danger must be faced all right brand new map you guys are starting to maneuver through the city. Um, the air is oppressive. Again, Donna has this weird sensation like there are thousands, tens of thousands of people watching her as she moves through the city. Um, sometimes almost hearing a whispered conversation, like just over the corner, just out of peripheral vision. But every time you turn, you see nothing. Um, everyone, the air in the city is thick. It has a slight smell of. wet ground which seems to almost be coming from the buildings themselves as everything here is saturated almost every day with rain and then at night the weather clears out uh fortunately right now it's not much more than a drizzle so it's not impeding your movement but there is almost always rain in drakenheim during the day the ground is wet the buildings are saturated and um, there's a slight metallic taste in the air not all the time but it wafts in and out occasionally um for adrian and for donna when these slightly metallic wafts in the air hit you it's a lot more in your face than it is for the other two like you actually all almost like smelling food from a street vendor like you you feel an urge to follow the smell even though you're not sure where it's coming from but before you can really track it it fades again and you're back to just what you were what you were before and trying to keep up with your little Ratman guide. After about an hour of moving through the city, um, he takes you to the outskirts of what looks like a local dive bar. 
Um, the building itself appears blasted and run down. Um, it looks like even perhaps this, um, some of the meteor strike or the remainder damage afterwards may have hit the building directly. The building across the street at first looks uninjured, just slightly unusually slick. And then as you get a little bit closer, you realize that the building across the street from this bar has been turned to glass. It is still standing. It it doesn't appear damaged in any way. Um, but the reason why the wall looks slicker is because the rain is beating off of the glass that is mimicking the stonework and woodwork that was there rather than sinking into the stonework and woodwork that should be there. Rattling, what happened to all these buildings? Oh, oh I don't know. They've always been like that as far as I know. The deep transmutation the whole city's been transformed like this. Not everything is glass, but everything is not what it should be. Nothing is as it seems here. It's a very uncomforting thought. Uh, he leads you into the uh, into the, the, the dive bar. And as you approach the building... Um, like he walks through the door, you guys follow him in. And as he starts to walk into the middle of the room, he was like, don't step in the middle floor. Middle floor is booby trapped. Catches manlings looking for, looking for glowy bits. Mm -hmm. Uh, and instead goes around to the side where there's some damage to the masonry, um, and shows you a passage down into like the base in, like the root cellar of the building or the brew cellar of the the building um and you notice as you go down and through the cellar it the the brew cellar goes from being tall enough that you can walk through just crouched over to eventually at the far end of the building shrinking down to a to a movie air duct that you're going to need to crawl through uh, to be able to continue moving. He apparently hasn't slowed down. Uh, he has just gone from walking on two legs to walking on four and is able to move through the, the tunnel without any problem. Well... Yeah. I guess I'll go first. All so right. The uh, smallest, except for maybe Donna. Donna might be smaller than me. Well, I better make sure everything's safe. I will um, Ace Ventura coming out of the Rhino. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> get, on, um, get, on, get on through this tunnel. Victor, give me a dexterity check. Okay. Great. My character, sorry. I don't know. Yay! Dexterity. I get a 17. All right, More uh, than sufficient. So you're moving uh, through. I mean, you, you're not moving quite at this the, the pace that the Rat Prince is. And he like scurries ahead and then realizes you're falling behind and then scurries back. So basically, he just does, you know, the, the, the shuttle run like, cha -cha. How the heck did he turn around in here? <laughs> yeah. It's so tight. Um, but... Uh, um, I just yeah, kinda... it's kind of weird to watch because it's like it's almost like his body just bends in the middle as he turns like around. Cats are liquid. Rats exactly. Are liquid. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, so, so yeah, so he uh, def deflects his face away. He doesn't want to get the uh, nasty rat breath in his in his face, but uh, he continues to shimmy forward. Okay. Yeah. So basically, he's doing this whole like, you know, 
trots 20 feet ahead, turns around, runs back 15, twats 20, trots 20 feet ahead, turns around, runs back 15 the whole time. Um, who's next in marching order? I'll go. Okay. Give me a dexterity check, please. You are fine. Who is going to be number three? Adrian, I suspect I should pick up the rear. In case Adrian gets stuck. <laughs> among other things. All right. And Adrian? Hold on. Ability check? Uh, yeah. Dexterity, ability check. Oh. Barely. Like, you're having trouble moving through. Like, you're not used to crawling on your hands and knees much. I mean, shocker that, being an elf. Um, you're managing to make it through, but you are struggling even just to try to keep up with the rather slow pace that the other two are currently setting. Uh, and... Bartholomew. Flexibility, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, can I spend a fate point to have him re-roll that one? Uh, no, he would have to spend it for oh, himself. Okay. Uh, I am going to say that what's get getting you caught up at the moment is your quarter staff. If you decide to leave it behind, you can re-roll. This is going to hurt. But I will leave it. As long as I can leave it in a place I know I can get it when we come back through. Mm -hmm. I mean, ass ass assuming that no ratmen come through and take it, because legitimately they're the only things coming through here. Keeping in mind, it is just a quarter staff I can acquire, and I keep pulling a bucket of quarter quarter staff. Right. It's not a magical one or anything. It's just a thing. Yeah. But yeah. It, Sentimental I mean, reasons. I get it. Yeah, I've walked halfway across the continent with it. So yeah. yeah. I mean, it came for the estate. So. Uh, okay, let's. That's better. Yeah, much better. You're able. To, you're quickly able to catch up with Adrian, who is not quite able to keep up with Donna. So yeah, you're fine. Um, it's going to take you about another 20, 25 minutes of following these twisting, winding passages mm -hmm. before you finally reach a rock that is kind of like rolled into the way of the uh, of the um, Carter. And with a mighty shove, your little rat friend manages to push the rock away. And lead you guys into another corridor. You can hear water a short distance away. Mm -hmm. uh, you are unable to see, unless you have night vision, um, anything at the moment. But you do uh -huh. believe you are probably inside the wall at this point. I have dark vision. Does my devil sight count? Oh, most definitely. Yeah. Okay. Uh, devil oh, sight should oh. count for everything, and if it doesn't, let me know. Actually, okay. though, devil sight, um, uh, it doesn't help you in dim light, because uh, dark vision says in dim light, you can see as if it were bright light. Devil sight doesn't say that, so. Really? Um, yeah. <laughs> That's wrong. I thought it ignored, I thought it, I thought it ignored all so normal and magical darkness. It, uh, yeah, but just not dim light. Dim light, you, uh, that doesn't affect dim light, unfortunately. Um, but that's, that's just raw. Like, I've, okay. I've seen so many DMs who are like, ah, that's stupid. Forget that. Uh, yeah, because I'm going to say that if it ignores darkness, then it would make things not dark and therefore light. Um, All right. Victor pops out. He is completely blind, but, uh, thankfully he's followed up by a couple of people who can see. Um, and I don't think, can you see Bart? I don't think so. No. I can't see damn thing. Humans. Unfortunately. None of those cool monk powers give you dark vision? 
Let's you see yeah. the future, but not in front of your face when it's dark out. Yeah, <laughs> um. Well, uh, Victor does have a torch. Um, and so I believe. I. Um, can I? I'm not allowed to hold a torch in the same hand that I have a shield, right? Um. What type of shield is it? Uh, it's pile of sh it's pile of chains. <laughs> it's yes, fine. Okay, all right. You say so. I will hold aloft my simple torch. So that does the rat prince react negatively? Uh, I didn't want to hit that button. I'm in the wrong spot. Hold on one second. Let me find where you went. E fire. No oh, fire, man, man thing. Okay. I'm just like looking normally and I see his like, part like just go, ah! <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Like everything is fine and then all of a sudden it's really bright. <laughs> uh, the, the rat prince turns to you and says, Light light is okay now, but there are parts of the sewers that have a stink, 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 and you want to make sure not to bring torches because stink, 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 go boom. Oh. I nod, uh, like, um, like, uh, what's, what's the word? Pa patronistically, like, oh, sure, rat, like, I'm sure you know exactly what you're talking about. Sure. Right? You don't know nothing. Stink, go boom, sure. Yeah, I believe you. Okay. He's talking about, he's talking about flammable gases. So I'm going to move you guys through this section here because while it looks awesome, it is impossible to maneuver through for PCs. I apologize. Mm. Oh, dang, the logo. Yeah. We truly are in a dungeon of Drakenheim. Nice. Roll credits. <laughs> oh, no. We, we got a different name. We truly are the denizens of Drakenheim. Well, you're being led through the dungeons of Drakenheim by a denizen of Drakenheim. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right. And from there, you guys will probably be able to <laughs> maintain your own movement. But. Yes. Um. As he steps through the broken, uh, the broken stone dugout corridor, um, once he gets to where the, the, the rat is right now, he is able to stand up normally and you will be able to as well. Um, he skitters a little bit away from the doorway just so you have room to come through. And he says, welcome to the sewers of Drakenheim. Yes, yes. Welcome to die. Welcome oh, to no, die. No, no, no. <laughs> I do spin around and like whisper that everybody should be on their guard, but I do step on through. Okay. Yep. Say, so I will. I will. Excuse me. Wow. I will take up the rear just in case, because you know, things. Jumping out from behind us would suck. So, oh, the sewers. Tell us a little bit about them. Um, what are the main features? Um, what are we kind of looking at? What are we kind of... Uh, I mean, uh, sewers are for carrying sewage, but nobody's been living in the city for all these years, so... Maybe they're a little oh, cleaner. They're, 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 they're not too bad. Um, some parts of the sewers are are flooded and overrun and some parts of the sewers are very dry and some parts of the sewers are used by manlings and some parts of the sewers have glow rock in it and some parts of the sewers are are used as nests for rat folk and wait a sec uh, rat prince you said some are used by manlings yes yes what manlings use the sewers um, uh, the ones that follow Crown Lady. 
Brown Lady? Oh, that queen we heard about. The Queen of Thieves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, ones, ones that follow Crown Lady sometimes maneuver through sewers. I had no idea they were so... We don't like them, though. Precisely. They're not like you guys. Yeah, right. They're not like you guys. They're not trustworthy. You guys trustworthy. I can tell. I have sense for things. Good. Oh, good. I, I, would think you would, you. I, I would think you would like them. They're probably tasty. I, I I didn't say I don't eat them. I said I don't trust them. Oh, okay. Have you been all over the city, Mr. Uh, I mean, not all over. I... There, there's there's dangerous parts that I don't like go to. There's there's inner wall, and then there's um there's the the courtyard, and you have to sometimes be careful because there's Slaughterstone Square, and I don't go to Slaughterstone Square, and uh there's you know big big things sometimes in 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 the city and that's why that's why ratlings we we travel through sewers because big things don't fit in sewers that well you know how to read rat prints uh how to read rat prints yes rat prints would be no R i mean um <laughs> a i just ask because you know it's called drakenheim and you know it's called slaughterstone square those are big words i'm surprised you know them i mean i can't spell it but i hear it Okay. Um, I have a question then. Have you seen a statue? These sort of statues around here, around the city. They look kind of. Um, and I'll, I'll describe the orca statue, like the, what the orca statue looks like to the rat prince. Hmm. Um, I know see city. I know see statues like that. Uh, but we do have statues of. And he goes on to describe a statue of a large round-bellied rat with four arms, each arm holding a human being in its claws and, like, de like devouring them. We have, we have statues. We have statues of Rakan. Yes, 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 yes. What a charming thing. Yes. Nothing. But I not see your statues. If you could keep an eye out for them, we think they might be important somehow. Okay. I, I, I keep an eye out for ugly statues. Where to next, Rat Prince? So, um, everybody give me a D10. Don't mess this up for us, part. Don't mess this up for us. Let me try that again. I only roll it. I roll 1d10, right? 1d10, right. Um, fortunately, mm -hmm. D Donna's first one was the three. The one was the second one. So you guys okay. are fine. Yay. <laughs> anyway. And the Red Prince is also fine. So you guys are going to be traveling through the swamp for probably another... 15 or 20 minutes. Um, How long total has it been? It's probably right now around 3.30 in the afternoon. So it's been like an hour and a half. Yeah. Oh, is it, would it be light enough that I could do a, uh, get my spells back? Like light enough uh, activity? I, I'm going to say crawling through tunnels and trying to keep up wound up and being more than restful with, okay. with with the role that you had so I'm for so for the moment I'm gonna say no um although the last okay. 10 or 15 sure minutes we'll a lot in, easier I'm sure we'll be somewhere safe very soon yes it seems it's, like it's, it's just getting safer and safer the more we go exactly um yeah, nothing bad ever happens in the sewers exactly the sewers are perfectly safe I don't know what you're worried about um, so after about 15 or 20 minutes of traveling through the sewers, uh, you are led to what looks like a, like a round cistern. 
with a couple different um, um, lead offshoots going in different directions. And you notice that in this area, uh, and also some of the broken wall that's off to the side, you see, like, through what should have been the wall of the sewer has been broken through, and then there was more rat tunnel leading, obviously, to dens and burrows beyond. Um, but you see that there is um, probably where you're headed looks like it probably has about 30 or 40 um rat folk ahead of you and you're probably about 80 or 90 feet away because you can tell by the chittering noises um that you're coming up towards what where there would be a, a large amount of rat uh, of rat creatures Is this your family? Yes, 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 yes. This is I, 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 I am the Rat Prince. They are the, the the rats that serve the Rat Prince. So we 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 go through here so that I can take you to where Manling Shiny is. Great. Um. um. All right. We're, uh, we're trustworthy and stuff, Rat Prince, so um, I was wondering, could I borrow your swords? They look pretty cool. I just want to check them out while we're walking through your burrow. Oh, yeah, 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 sure. He, he hands them to you. I'm just going to check these out. Wow, okay, pretty neat. Let me pretty neat, I'm pretty neat. I'm going to look, at these. Going I'm gonna look at these and investigate them really closely while we're walking for a good... Just while we're walking through yeah, yeah. the family. I, it's, we're cool, yeah. Yeah, nothing to worry um, about. Everybody's fine. Yeah, yeah. All right, so... <laughs> As you continue moving in, um, you notice that there is, um, like I said, probably about 30 rattlings, um, oddly, widely varied, like in height, in, in build, in stature, in age, like almost like to like Disney caricature levels. It's really surprising how many different variations of rat people you're seeing, mostly like grays and browns, but enough that they have differing features and oddly seem, if you had to put a word on it, demi-human. And the Rat Prince starts speaking um, excitedly in a language that is somewhere between um, somewhere between undercommon and something more aberrational and just like skittery rat noises and occasionally a word or two of common thrown in. Um, what's it? Is it, is it enough of common to kind of sparse out what he's saying or no? It is if anybody passes a either a wisdom check with a DC twelve or let's say a um It'd be like animal handling, would it probably not? Sure, why not? Victor's um, uh, a little busy with his uh, checking out these swords. There we go. But, uh, right on the money. Adrian gets it. Don is having a little bit of trouble. Don will get about it every other word. Um, figuring out what he's saying. Um, but he he begins by 
making a loud screeching noise to grab everyone's attention. And then you see when all of the ratlings uh, turn to him and also a bunch ferry out of where the den is carved into the wall. Um, the rattling prince... The Rattling Prince calls to all of the Rattlings and says, My brothers, my sisters, everybody else, the time for our ascension has begun. Those who were prophesized to save us from the fishers, they they saved the life of your red prince. Yes, 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 yes. And they have come with him to come down into the sewers to kill, kill, die, die all of the fishermen so that they can receive the, the, the prize that was promised to the manlings and can rid us of the danger that is that, that is kill dying our people and you you hear um a whole lot <laughs> the vermintide prequel you never knew you wanted you <laughs> hear um some cheering and you know prophecy 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 chosen ones yes 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 uh, I lean over to Victor. Um, I I think they think we're some sort of foretold warriors. I agree. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, maybe that'll make it easier to kill them all. <laughs> I say in a very, very low voice. <laughs> Hopefully we can kill them all. <laughs> so they get maybe under, i wonder if they believe in like i mean you know ancient primal humans had like human sacrifice i wonder if they believe in like rat like sacrifice it could be like we must kill the most strongest ratlings among you i don't know they, they seem to care about each other enough That's that how the old religions work Maybe they can be of use to us somehow if we, if we do a little favor for them. I say uh, these were very impressive blades, uh, Rat Prince. Thank you, um, and I hand it back, since it's clear that he's not about to right. <laughs> rip us apart. So he takes back his he takes back his weapons, and, and he just holds up his two swords, uh, and. and and he says. The weapons of your red prince, yes, 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 stabby stabbies, have been blessed by chosen chosens, and nobody seems to care. And mm -hmm. but but he is very excited. And um, hey. all right, he's like our he's our one fan. Uh, yeah, like, he likes you guys. If, if these guys have one fan, I'm him. <laughs> if these guys are dead, I'm dead. <laughs> that's that's red prince for us. <laughs> uh, and. As you are watching what's happening, you see an old, in rattling terms, like blind uh, seeress in uh, rattling robes and walking with a, a bit of a crooked cane, walks over and approaches the four of you. Hey, she's going to see right through us. This is not good. Hello, Mother. You... You have... You have come to the darn down... The, the, the dark down. And you have come to free us from the kill, kill, stab, stabs of the fishers. Yes, yes? The fishers? 
You? We understand the fishers uh, have been a burden upon you for some time. They, they claim sewers that belong to the rat people, and they they attack our people, and their their leader is she she is not the chosen she is not a disciple of the rat god she she is a usurper to the realm of the of the ratlings and who is their leader the fishers follow follow a false false heathen idol heathen heathen yes yes and called called the duchess if if we kill this person, the the fish people will break ranks. Yes, yes. If you can, if if you can rescue, if you can rescue the the sewers from the fishers, um, by 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 kill kill stab stab the the duchess uh, and her her uh, counselor, then you will be able to. The, the 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 fishers will will scatter. They will scurry. They they they, they will snicker snack through through the sewers, and then the sewers will belong to to ratlings again. Yes, yes, yes. And does the Duchess hold the human shiny? That's how we were, we were told. Huh? Uh it it is it is not on the Duchess. It is on the her counselor. Hmm. All right. I guess that's our target then. She turns around and says something uh, to the ratlings in a very rushed tone. Um, and then as she turns back around uh, to face the four of you. Um, you see that with her free hand, she begins to cast a spell. I look uh, at Victor at the corner of my eye and watch him. Uh, Victor is almost not even noticing. Uh, okay. If he had been noticing, we'd be in some trouble. But uh, thankfully, his brow is knit in concern. He's thinking, it looks like he's trying, straining himself to remember something. Um, but uh, yeah, he, he is not noticing as she casts a spell, so... Uh, and as that happens, yeah. welcome back. Thanks. Sorry, it took so long. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. Um, you didn't miss anything important. You're apparently just now, you know, the chosen ones of the rat people. No big deal. Um, the Marlocks. Yay. <laughs> no Marlocks, please. You, for the next 10 minutes, each of you, um, once when making an attack roll or saving throw, can add a d4 to the number rolled, uh, and that can be even used after you determine if you succeeded or failed. Okay. All right. All right. I was thinking we might need a bigger buff than that. But, uh, I, guess I mean, probably, but I mean, there's only so much she can do. Uh, and you, you see that the ratlings are like all scurrying around. And oddly, you see them start to set up what looks like, if you didn't know better, would be a feast? Oh man! Okay. Like um. they're 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 setting out slabs of stone, and then on these slabs of stone, they are putting bits of meat and bits of cheese, and bits of bits of bread, and some only somewhat rotted fruits and vegetables, and well, there's also ten gold sitting over there, and they just start setting like all of this stuff out on these slabs that are made from like the the 
displaced wall sections of the sewer. Reference, reference, is he around? Yeah, yeah, he's 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 not going anywhere. Oh, reference, this this seems very nice, but it seems like um a little much. Uh, also, we don't have a lot of time for a feast. Uh, uh, the, the 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 fish people are nocturnal. They only they mostly go out at night. So if we can catch them while they're sleeping, the sooner we get there, the better. I don't know if we can. Oh, stick for feast. you smart, smart. You you know your enemy and you know how to defeat them. You you you're very smart, smart. Uh, well, thank you for saying so. I just mean to say I don't know if we can stick around for a feast. Um, yeah, we should move on this now. Okay. All right. Give me a second. Our I DM's it. like, oh, they gave up the chance for Hero's Feast. <laughs> Six level spell. <laughs> Makes you immune to frightened. Oh, man. I'm not having that rattling Hero's Feast. Get, get contaminated. <laughs> on the plus side of Hero's Feast. On the downside, one level of contamination. Actually, that's a that's a good trade. If that is the trade, <laughs> give me that. Hook that to my veins. Um. Okay. So let me see if I can find something real quick because I, I wasn't prepped to run this tonight. But you know what? That's never stopped me in the past. So just give me a second. And put yourself to blame. Avengers it's, feast. It's true. It is. I I have no one but myself to blame. That's fine. I just need to find where something is in the book. While you're doing that, mm -hmm. uh, Adrian kind of shuffles over to Donna and, and whispers at her, uh, why did you call the the Cirrus mother? I assume that's what she was. Um, the head mother of the tribe. Oh. I thought maybe you were introducing us to your mother. What? <laughs> I did, it didn't make sense, but I, I don't typically call people mother who aren't my mother. You're not a religious man? So Mothers small. of our faith. The flame keepers. Oh, that's, uh, I, the elves have their own religion, don't they? Well, religion is kind of lost on me. <laughs> this is my mom. She's a rat. <laughs> it just still seems to be he's trying to remember. He's like, Something I heard it sounds very familiar, but I can't place it. Yeah, like none of this is really sitting quite right, but Hey, all we have to do is just kill a person. If she's the Duchess, she just must be some like human or something, some mutated human. Yeah. Fish? Yeah, you're fine. Oh, we can handle fish. That's not a big deal. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? My mom isn't from Drachenheim and also do I do I look like a rat to you? Who was of course the, not. who was the elf? You're Father and mother, if you don't mind me asking. My father. But, to be fair, all I knew was that you were half-elf. I didn't know what the other half was. She did say that um, she was r raised here. In, um, right? Your father ran out on you and you were raised in a... I mean, ran out is a, is a strong term to use. It was a one-night stand that I don't, even think, I don't even think he, he knows I exist or was even conceived that, that night. It's hard. Have you ever, has the Academy had been able to find anything regarding to him or has that not been something you saw it? Um, it was a hard to track down. If you did meet him, what, what would you say to him? I don't know. I never thought about it. I was, like I said, I was mostly raised by my other, the town. It's been hard to have those who raise you, those who love, turn on you. I'm sorry for, I was very insensitive um, for what I was saying. Um, the truth is, what I've gone through is something personal. It's something that it's just me. What what happened with you? There's something wrong with this world, you know? There's something wrong in the heart of every person who lives in Westamar. Fear of the unknown, the fear of mages. And perhaps that's why I was dismissive of it, because it seems just like an insuperable problem. How do you hope to fix something like that? People just are parochial and provincial and scared. 
It's unfortunate, but you are correct. We teach people. It's the best we can do. We try to make people learn, help them learn about the realities of things. The more knowledge someone has, the more they are, will hopefully be prone to understanding. I hope I set an example for others like me, so that people will know not to fear us as much as they can. But as long as I'm a, I have, I do worry as long as those laws are and are exist, and there'll always be a little thing hanging over my head. So perhaps one day we can change those laws. <laughs> It were up to me. Yeah, I, I wish all the world knew what, what a kind person you were and f friendly. And mages, while I have my personal hangups with magic and I have my suspicions about the academy as an institution, I like to think that I, I, I'm learning more about if, if magic is used properly, it, it's, it, it's not evil at all. It's, it's, it's chaos, right? Neither good nor evil. It's what you do with it. So is Donna looking to perhaps try to overturn the Edicts of Lumen? Possibly. Asking for a friend who may be Possibly. the G. Interesting. All right, I'm almost done. To prove them to be outdated. Mm-hmm. You know, I do apologize. We're saying this as like the rattlings are <laughs> staying all around us. Yep. I do apologize myself for, um, for casting spells upon you, Victor. I just didn't want people to get hurt. You didn't, yeah, you don't have to apologize. All of you were in grave danger. Um, yeah. You were right. You were right to do that. If it makes you feel any better about me and my being here I have my own trepidations about the academy you do yes okay. dun 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 okay well maybe we can talk more about that when we're not in a, this rat hole Rat hole, oh, slimy, my home this is. No, I meant I meant that affectionately, this rat hole, you know, like a... <laughs> Alright, uh... Give me one more second, I'm almost done. Anybody else got some, uh, something to say? Not at this time, no. Bart's the strong no. side. So what's take. going on for Bart right now? Yeah, you kind of let's look over at Bart too. I'm like, are you, are you all right? It's dark. It's wet. There's rats all around. How's he feeling? I'm just trying to concentrate on what we're doing. Is he is he like the uh, that one meme where the kid is like facing forward? He's got the <laughs> the, the veins sticking out of his head. He's like concentrating on what we're doing and not. This terrible circumstance that we're in. No, it's not even that. It's he's got a job to do. Okay, it's on the clock. And he does have a job to do. Considering the potential boon that, uh, yeah, okay. yeah, this one needs to go off correctly. So, yeah. I, can, I mean, I can only imagine this uh, going off correctly. I, I literally cannot fathom anything bad happening. To I us mean, what could possibly go wrong? Uh, I wouldn't even ask that question because I already know the answer is nothing. It's already. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like any of you right now. <laughs> Just to make that very clear. Well, Victor's like, Duchess. I think I've heard that name before. I think I've heard that name. All right, so I'm just going to pull this up over here on my other PC just so I have the document in a easier location. Just 
Oh, yeah. loving this extra monitor now. Love it, love it, love it, love it to death. I, I didn't mean that specifically, literally, although maybe I did. Okay, so um, after a after a minute or two, um, your 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 ratty guide um, leads you through the through the sewers and takes you to a area of the of the sewers where you see a barricade uh in in front of you in the sewers and a number of lights which i will be putting in now will you join in our crusade who will be strong and stand with me nice Beyond the barricade there is a duchess that we will see bravely ran away <laughs> I mean that is also an option. Oh no, we're not having that. <laughs> I will say though, uh, DM, have there been like um like this is a sewer, how frequent are like access points that we could just like take a ladder and just end up in the middle of Drakenheim? Uh you've actually street? seen a couple. I mean they're not they're not terribly easy to find but there have been a few right like mm, there's a couple okay. spots where like as you're walking through either you see a, a another rat trail break leading up or a rigged ladder that perhaps the um the queen's men might have set up or honestly legitimately sometimes just honest to god sewer entrances like every couple blocks so yeah. there there is definitely ways to get around down here once you once you have a way in and i mean small sample size but you haven't had any major problems thus far so it's almost reasonable for you to assume that you wouldn't have major problems trying to come in here on your own once you know uh, a, a couple of the, you know, innie and outie bits. Oops. And torch. So something glowing, something lit up ahead. So the rat men lead you down through the cistern, um, uh, through the sewers. Mm. And. As you come along, you find that this area looks cleaner and better maintained. Um, but you also notice that your guide is getting more and more nervous um, on the way here. Just for the I fish, huh? Oh yes, yes, yes. Fish, fishers are that way. That's this. This is as far as I can go. I, I'm going to back up around the corner, and I, I will wait for you, and then I will lead you back after you are done dealing with the Duchess. Uh, I don't want them to see any light coming for us, so I will snuff my torch. Just kind of um, throw it on the ground and stomp on it. Uh, Okay. I'm kind of worried about throwing it in this water. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, yeah. Um, and Victor's heart is also pounding out of his chest when uh, a reassuring voice comes to him. Hey, don't worry there, Victor. We've been through Wes. Hey, Vicky boy. <laughs> Vicky boy. You know what's hey. going to come next, and you know you're going to want me there for it. Yeah. Why can't I shake this feeling that the Duchess sounds like a familiar name? 
I mean, past lives, Vicky boy, past lives. What, did I tussle with her? Did she survive? That's not good. That's not a good sign. So, hmm. All right. So you're saying that that the that the headmistress of whatever these fish people are is right down that corridor. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I, I I don't know where in there she is, but I I know that this is this is where all the fishers are because this is this is the edge of their territory and this is where they have been uh, encroaching on on rat people from. Maybe we could put a dent in them, but the Duchess is as powerful as you say. We might need more time than just right now to fully destroy her. Oh, yes, yes, yes. But I, I, I told you I would show you where a manling shiny thing is, and it's that way. All right. It's not the Duchess that has the shiny, it's the counselor. Am I hearing yeah. that? Yes, yes. What is the counselor? Ah, uh, he is... They... Is he a big, scary monster? Is Does he, he look like he would he would eat you? Uh, they they call him Chancellor, and he is he is one of the three um, three defenders of the Duchess. There is Chancellor. There is Chamberlain. There is Cardinal. And, and how big is this chancellor? All oh, about your size. I wonder if we could bait them out somehow uh, to come out of their lair. Rat Prince, do you know if they leave at any point? Or do they just remain here all the time? I, I, I don't know. I've never seen them. I know the fishers, the fishers come out, but I don't know if if uh, the, the Cardinal Chamberlain or Chancellor come out. I, I know Duchess never come out. Do I know those terms to be used as part of like religious organizations? Does that sound weird to me that that the, the fish people are using like religious titles as their name? Um, I don't give know. Me I don't a know if, history if, if, check might be a, just an alliteration flourish. Yeah, I don't know. Fish. I don't know if if cardinals or anything like that exist in Druckenheim, but I'll do the history. Okay, twenty three. So. Cardinal is an old um, um, ad hominem that is sometimes used for um, higher member rankings of the church. And Chamberlain and Chancellor specifically are like Westamarin um, cabinetry positions. Like those are those are very specific terms that are normally used when dealing with royal houses. Okay. And are still regularly in practice in various parts of Westamar and also in some cases in Caspia. So if those are their names, do these fish people believe they're some sort of Westamarian royalty? I, I I, I I don't know I I don't know what Duchess what what Duchess thing thinks. All I know is is that they they kill kill stab stab, uh, ratlings and they take over city and they take over sewers and they are evil. All right. Well, do we, Red Prince? Oh, the royal, other, royal it's, uh, Oh yeah, right. <laughs> uh, Red Prince, are there any other? escapes besides back the way we came is there any other way out of here uh there may be ways out from inside of the 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 fisherlands i i don't know because i i've never gone past the barricade um there but is if i were to go this way i point to the north uh yes 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 there should be a way uh a, a way out um 
there or if you go back the way we came and you had you had left left and then right 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 and then left and then right right you will you, you will also be able to go out into the city there's a couple ways into the city okay i kind of i i i summon a uh, ghost and okay uh i ask rat, the rat prince could you repeat that again about what the directions please it's very clear. He said left, left, right, 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 left, left. That's what he said. No, 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 no. You, you go, <laughs> you, you go left, left, right, left, 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 right, right. That's not what you said before. Are you sure, Rat Prince? Yes, 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 yes. We yes. have this. We have this. Go to the recording. At you like. <laughs> so what the frack is there a talking rat? <laughs> like, he hasn't actually started to write anything. He just showed up. He's like ah ah. 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 Hey, it's he's a, a talking rat. You're a writing monkey. Let's uh, just move past this. It's a, it's a long story, Ghost. Just write it down. Uh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, thank you, Rat Prince. You have been illuminating. And um, pray for us, I guess. Maybe the rat god can help us out. Blessings of rat god on you. Good luck and and bye. And he skitters off. Maybe eight. Victor then does like the equivalent of crossing himself and is like, yeah, uh, let's let's hope the rat god is not with us. <laughs> what do we need prayers for? It just sounds like these things are little fish people. Well, the chancellor, I knew a chancellor. The chancellor of Drakenheim was. Balren Barthes. Um, but yes, he had a powerful magic item. That must be what he's talking about. Where the heck did my... You think this it? fish Where person is a mutant? If his name is Chancellor and he has... What's wrong? The, the human shiny. Must be the same guy. It would be interesting. Do you think he would remember you? Ah, uh, well, when I was my way, um, uh, I couldn't remember anyone or anything, so I strongly doubt it. And in fact, I, I he didn't really know me. I was just an ordinary guy, right? Remember? Um, so, and he was like the Chancellor of Jack and I. Um, I just know of him. Hmm. Maybe we should ask. If you like that. I mean, that's the only idea I have is to lure him out. If we could send somebody in there who's quick and maybe could stay out of reach. Maybe somebody who could fly. Maybe somebody small who's also good at climbing might be useful. Ghost is writing all of this down and then goes like. Hey! <laughs> wow, somebody who might be very smart and um, uh, very uh, attractive, and um, you know. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll go in. Like you don't this, need to. This, this, you don't need to ask anymore. <laughs> ghost, I just think like if you do get hurt in there, ghost, I'm sure we could fix you up. We won't leave without you. That is for certain. Uh, I don't think I want Ghost to risk getting hurt. I st have been having nightmares about that cat for a little while. Okay, well, um, well, first things first, we need to get across here. So the fish have set up their own barricade? Yes. So if I were to jump across, I would land uh, on Give me the an spikes. investigation check as you're looking at it. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm great at those. Awesome. Um, big old 12. There's like a film or a slime, uh, on the, um, on the, the spikes that have been, uh, set in for the advance. That's not. It wasn't. Some sort of toxin. Oh. I'm going to say, uh, past 
Well, it's like mounted up against the edge, so you would have to like go into the water to get past it, right? Well, these are all on the ground above, yeah. but this one is actually like a trap that is set in the water. Uh, so you wouldn't be able to go across by the water either. Basically, your best bet would be coming up to the north edge here and trying to like slide in along the wall behind the barricade. Okay. I'm gonna go that way. I'm gonna oh, have hold to on! Don't jump! Way. Don't jump in this water just yet. Don't don't go. This uh, I imagine it's contaminated. Uh, I mean, it's. I wouldn't exactly consider it Perrier, but... Excuse me. Mm -hmm. well, it looks it's... nice and blue to me. <laughs> this is, could go this is like a golf course blue, where they <laughs> dumped a ton of blue <laughs> dye into it. Um, yeah, uh, well, I, I, won't, I won't stop you, but uh, it might be better if I were to go through and then I could take apart the barricade and maybe even lay some of the planks across to uh, give some room for people to jump across. If you would like. That might not be a bad idea. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to say... Uh, how sturdy are these barricades? How, how sturdy do, do they look? I mean, they're pretty much just sharpened sticks that are being held together with like some some vine or like some um, slime yeah there, if some of them are vined together some of them are held together with like uh um j just some like some leather lashing they're not terribly sturdy they just look terribly hideous to get stuck on yeah right. i'm going to splash across i'm going to say domine oh domine solvum fuck regim uh, I mutter to myself as I stumble across the sewer and uh, emerge on the other side. Okay. Any checks? Any saving throws? Not, not yet. You're all right. Okay. All right. Yay. Good stuff. Don't worry, Vico. I got you back. Uh, as he, <laughs> I will uh, do my best to take this just kind of very quietly, kind of shimmy it apart and kind of lay it down. So instead of a barricade blocking the way, there's like kind of a, like, like a clear landing path for people to jump across okay oddly enough you don't have thieves tools so give me a slight somebody of... throw me your thieves tools well as in you don't have the, the proficiency with it so just give me a sleight of hand check oh boy okay um i need to spend a pay point before or after uh if you spend before you'll get advantage if you spend it after you get a reroll if you spend it before and after you get to reroll the advantage well who needs fate when the dice are on my side? Right? <laughs> I got a Who needs fate when you can roll like that? Yeah. I mean, it takes you a couple minutes of working, but um, you do manage to get the um, the barricade separated, and you are um, you're, you're pretty sure that uh, the players would be able to get through that area without too much risk. Hey, I gesture for people to. Uh... I'll actually stand here, mm -hmm. kind of like try not to occupy the whole square as best I can. I'll kind of reach my hands out, indicating that I'm ready to catch whoever comes across. They just got to land their foot on here. Sage, I should be able to grab them. I'm just, I, I, actually, I actually have proficiency in thieves tools. I just don't have the thieves tools yet. I'm trying to buy them, but we keep leaving the town <laughs> every day. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> One day you'll be in town long enough to buy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but today is not that day. Oh uh, yeah, but I'll I'll, I'll follow. I'll, I'll go and jump over jump over to Victor. Okay. I mean, it's only ten feet. It, it this is fairly simple, and you have someone there to catch you in a safe spot, so everybody can make it across without uh, any further issue. <laughs> hey, does anybody have? Any invisibility, or any other way to be stealthy? Mm, not yet. Okay. I'm still learning. So from yeah. where you are right now, uh, I'm going to need to get some... 
stand in monster counters, I think. You see that there and that's not great. It's not. But it could be worse. Um, are any of these uh, sticks straight or sturdy enough to give Bart a, a quarter staff? Yeah. Or maybe um, a spear? Yeah. Yeah, I'll give you that. That seems pretty reasonable. Neato. Um, give me one more second. So, um, if you can see these guys down here or these guys over here, what you see are strange, like fish headed bipedal creatures. Um, <laughs> Two arms, two legs. Many appear to be holding spears or simple weapons. Um, and they appear to be speaking to each other in um, a hushed tone in a language you most definitely cannot understand. Um, the three that you see, if you can see over here... Uh, you see that they are slightly larger versions of these creatures. Um, one is wearing a, a like a mockery of a um, of of the hat and vestments worn by. Um, by a flame keeper. Uh, one is wearing a long vest, uh, and one is wearing um, what appears to be more of like a stole and chain. Can we currently avoid being seen by these creatures? You have not been noticed yet. Okay. You're not exactly sure how, but you're going to take, you're just going to count your lucky stars and maybe that weird rat blessing that you got uh, that you have not yet been noticed. Mm. We are so close, guys. We just need to find a way. If these are the guards, maybe we could like, toss something into the into this trap here loudly um i have to... their attention does anybody have any disguise that could pretend to be a fish person no i have if you want to lure someone i have press dissertation i can make some sparks may not be a bad idea Which group should we try to lure first? Well, it seems the ones over there are the guards. Uh, if we could just get rid of those, if we could just get like one or two at a time, we should be able to polish them off easily. I'm sure they're going to hear us when we start when something happens. Unfortunately, I don't think we can avoid that. But.
getting them off and get removing them quickly. We have anything of value to that? Maybe we could sell out the ratlings. We could be like, we know where their secret burrow is. We'll tell um, you in, in trade for... I wouldn't do that. Victor, give me a perception check. Okay. Because I just realized you know what this looks like. I got an 18. I'm rolling like hotcakes tonight. Uh, it's this, all downhill from here, folks. <laughs> this one of the creatures here, um, the one that was wearing the stole and chain, the chain that it has around its neck yeah i figured yeah that's that's the chancellor's chain that's the chancellor's crest okay um so that that is one of the seals you reckon you you recognize it specifically You're not willing to sell out. We could just tell them, "Hey, we know where the the rats are. You're big enemy." We could we could be like, oh, "We'll trade you the we'll trade you that information for that seal." I don't think they'd go for it. I don't know why. Something doesn't. Hmm. If they if he does believe he has a chancellor or something of a high order, you're asking him to give up his holy relic. Well, he can't use it. It's it only works on humans, and he's now mutated beyond. He's not a human anymore. Does he know that? That's a well. That's a very good point. If he's been mutated, then what if he's doing something harmful to the people left in Drakenheim? What people? There's the Hooded Lanterns, the Silver Order. Oh, you think like these fish people might be jumping them uh, as they go through the city? Well, the Rat Prince seemed pretty adamant that they're trying to take over the sewers. It doesn't make sense that they would want to take over the sewers just to have a place to live. I mean, they're already here. Why Why would they need to gain more ground? I, I agree. Uh, these... <laughs> These are monsters that we, we they don't deserve any moral consideration. I only mean as a matter of force. If they're strong, stronger than us or, or whatnot. And also, expansion noise makes you seem more powerful than you are. If you think people in power want is more power. Uh, everybody roll a d10 for me. You guys have been talking for a minute. Yep. I got a one. Yes, you did. You hear a sound approaching from this corridor. Everybody hit the deck. Try to get around this uh, wall as best I can. Okay. Get behind me. I will give everyone one opportunity to say what they're trying to do. Uh, I'll move with Victor. Okay. I'll go with Victor as well. And, as well. Okay. Scoot squad. Everybody scoot, give scoot. me a stealth roll. <laughs> Nicely done. I don't want my luck give out. Holy moly. Well, wow. <laughs> Whoops. So everyone is quiet and a guard comes up and looks over here and goes Oh Looks like the barricade fall down again. Let me go oh, get boy. some supplies. And it starts to turn away and right when you guys are just about sure that you're going to be clear, something in the sewer air makes Adrian cough. It's 
suck. I'm so sorry. Okay, you're good. We're gonna be fine. Everybody roll initiative. I'm not saying a fight's gonna break out yet. I'm just saying we're gonna do things in order from this point forward. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Perfect. All right, so everyone's going to have a chance to set up a held action before the uh, b before the creature gets close enough to do anything. So, Bart, what is your held action? I'm trying to think here. So he's heading away from us currently, right? Uh, he Just, was up until the call. the call. He's going to turn around. You mm -hmm. saw the huh? So you, you so you know what you know what's coming next. Well, if he comes back over, mm -hmm. the I'll have to. I mean, I'm going to have to lay into him to specific and this may cause an issue but it'll have to be a bit of a cold shot situation here okay poke him in the throat so we can't scream all right donna at least that's the theory what is your held action going to be i have a spectral dagger kind of floating in my hand as i hold mine spike waiting for in case he, he attacks us okay i'm going to plunge into his head <laughs> adrian uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold an Eldritch Blast. Okay. I get wide. I get grabby. If he gets close, I'm gonna just yoink him around the side. It's gonna be like a. <laughs> it's gonna be like a you know the cane that takes people off the stage. It's gonna, if any of his friends see him, they'll just see. Oh. <laughs> and in order, Bart goes first. I'll have to five step in to whack him, but in this case, I'll allow it. As I say, now you're. I don't know how you want to roll, how you want to, but since I've got quarter stick again, mm -hmm. now I don't know how you want to roll on this because I have a. Again, I have a specific effect I'm trying to do. Okay. Which is. I'm trying to basically poke him in the throat so he can't scream and roll the head uh, from the others. Oh, ho. Big uh, that will most definitely hit. Uh, roll your damage. Ooh, all right. <laughs> Ten points of damage. So as he comes around the corner, you take the butt of the quarterstaff and kind of catch him right in the throat, and he just goes... <coughs> and at about that point is when Donna gets to do a thing. Uh, intelligent save. Oh, really? That's not nice. <laughs> in your pit, fish. Oh, no. All right. But he takes two psychic damage and is has disadvantage on the next saving throw. Okay, so he gets... Or, or surpass 1d4 from the next saving throw. He gets caught in the throat by a quarterstaff, coughs a little bit, jerks his head back as a, as a spectral dagger, cracks him in the forehead... Uh, Adrian. Okay, so. Oh, I'm and he's bloodied. So, so there's that. Sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and Eldritch Blast him. Okie doke. Roll to hit. Oh, maybe. Hold on. We're here for your daughter, Chuck. 
Hey, if he's bloodied, there's a chance he's just dead on this blast. <laughs> And, and then Victor will just remove the body from the field and pull it to the side. Yoink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, dead fish. Whoops. Okay. Two, two, two. All right. It's not. I think I'm doing something wrong. No, Eldritch Flask is definitely the right thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's shown in chat. There you go. Oh, the D4, the Rat God. Uh, Would you like to use your D4 God. bonus? Oh, the little D4. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yep. That will hit. Get there. Yeah, the Rat God. All right. <laughs> and for damage, 10 points. Uh, yeah. Still alive? No, he is dead. Oh. Rip. So, shot to the throat, dagger in the head, stumbles around for a split second, and then burst of energy to the chest. And as it starts to tumble backwards, Victor just grabs him and hurl and uh chucks him behind you guys into the uh into the corridor. Guys. Have you seen the very famous play? It's called uh, Weekend at Bernie's, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> you don't hear anything else coming yet. What do you do next? This is perfect. We can we can hollow him out and have Ghost wear his skin. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm gonna come up right behind Victor and like poke my head around the corner. Okay. See if I can see any movement. As you do, Ghost comes up right behind Victor and whacks him on the back of the head with a pencil. <laughs> Ghost, Ghost, I love you, man. It's just... <laughs> um, we're, we're dealing with some it, dangerous stuff here. It looks like nobody else has moved. Whatever happened, that guy traveled off enough on his own that nobody heard. So... I mean, the closest target you can see is, you know, 30 feet. And beyond that, you're looking at like 50 and 70. So maybe the sound traveled funny. Guys, Cisterns are say, shaped weird. We just shout out, hey, I need one other person to come help me with the barricade. Just one person, please. That's my that's my idea. And then when and when he comes, we kill him too. And then we're like, I think we need one more. <laughs> we do that five times in a row. They're all dead. That's that's my big plan. I, I, I strangely like this idea. Okay. Who's going to be the one to try to sound like a fish person? Unfortunately, that seems to like it. I, I got a cunning plan here. As, as yeah. Well. So <laughs> I'll do it. All right. Yeah, I don't have thermaturgy, unfortunately. Give me a uh, unless you have a unless you have a magical means to assist in this. Give me a perception or dissuasion or per, deception or persuasion. Your choice, but at disadvantage. Because you've you've only heard like five seconds of. Uh, uh, of fish speak. I mean, oh wow, we really needed that too. I mean, it, it's still a ten. It's not the twenty-five it could have been, but it's still a ten. So anyway, we have to boost that. Like the the rat god's D four was only the one time, yeah. Correct. Yeah. Um, can anybody help him? It's like a fate point, maybe. Um, if Victor wants to kind of like, like, like coach him on his fish I'll, voice, I'll be, no, I'll be, I'll be puppeting the guy. So I'll help him out by okay. holding up the guy's head and then being like, hey, right. I'll wave his hand. For him. Um, Adrian, give me one more persuasion roll. This one without disadvantage, just roll normally. Seems from Reaper the genetic yeah. Okay. <laughs> we needed the prop. Of course we did. 
Well, well, we need help with the barricade. Well, we, just, just I. <laughs> but I, oh. uh, just, uh, just me. <laughs> All right. So as you're standing there, puppeting, <laughs> puppeting a, a dead fish, uh, a dead fish folk in front of you. Um, you have you see one more fish folk come up out of the out of the side chamber. Oh, not the side going, chamber. Stinking jerk. Rorpo, you are such a slacker. You can't even fix a barricade by yourself. I was taking a bit of a break. I don't know why I have to come over here to help you with the. Uh... Okay. Uh, let me. You guys are going to keep your same initiative numbers because I'm generous. And well, he's a speedy dude. He is faster. Yeah. Um. Well, wait a minute. Didn't someone get a twenty? Yeah, I did. Yeah, Bart did. Bart's still going first, but <laughs> then he's going second. Oh shit! <laughs> so what you doing, Bart? Well, yeah, so this is, however, a full round. Down, this right? isn't a held action, so you get to do, you, you get all of the bells and or whistles. Okay, well, bells and or whistles. We like bells and or whistles. That's the puppet. This right. is the real one. We got to step. Wait Would you give me? Oh, well, that's why. Herder. So I have to five foot in. Right. So I have to reach him. And then. Yep. We do the thing. Uh-huh. And the other thing, and first we whack him with the stick. <laughs> whack him with the fish stick. Whack him with the fish stick. Barricade's broken as you're like whacking him with the barricade. <laughs> oh, the nat one. Nope, screw that noise. Fate Boy. point. I uh, figured. That. <laughs> I, that, I, I, I felt that fate point coming like a tremor in the force as soon as I saw the one. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe. Try that again. Are you? You rolled one hundred percent improved. I mean, you still miss, but you rolled one hundred percent improved. If if he's got armor class twelve, he could roll in that four and get there. You okay. also do have a second attack if you wanted to just. That's true. Too. Give up on the first one and move on to the second. Yeah, yeah, probably. Here, give me a minute. Okay. So I'm gonna take that out. So you also just got a free fate point from chat. Oh, thank you for that. Boy, that was just yay, chat! <laughs> Thanks to the almighty chat. So hey, we'll just, you know, pop him in the face. There we are. That'll hit. Better. Jeez. Holy cow! Where did the? No, no. Oh, that no, was a critical. I hit the, mm. the crit by mistake. Disregard that, please. Yep. Try again. Maximum fist to face. Okay. A flurry of blows, get one more in there. Yep. A flurry of blows uh, or I, offhand. I, 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 I did get ball. Well, he's only got one attack. We're still third level, not fifth. Oh, right, right. I yeah. forgot. Okay. All right, so that's yeah. that. And I would have had to have expended the key point of which I only have one yep. right now. So. Um. So that didn't help. He is going to scream, It's Rudolph! And he is going to do a sloppy, sloppy swing with his own fishy spear mm -hmm. at Bartholomew. He will, however, hit really well. And even if I throw him the iron skin, the best I can do is 22. Right. So, screw it. This is how you use a spear, human. <laughs> I mean, pretty much. <laughs> and you take five points of damage. And I'm down to five hit points. Ooh. Holy Oh, Bart. You are made of paper mache. What are you doing in the front line? 
Well, my max was 19, but we never we never rested. Nope. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, well, you know what? It's been fun, guys. It's been, <laughs> it's been good. What's your next character? Tony, you're up. <sighs> yeah, don't. Uh, seeing him get stabbed, I'm going to to rake across his face with uh, with the um, uh, chill touch. Okay. Oh, the crit! Woo! Here we go. Fourteen damage. Fourteen damage. Okay, so um. Taking twenty-two so far. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's dead. <laughs> nice. As I see Barkett's eyes kind of freak out and just sort of just like go go to lunge at him and grab his jaw, and just rip it right off with the with the with the spectral hand. Yup. And he's <laughs> he's uh he, he he screams and falls over and uh, that that's it for him. Um. We do, however, have these two guys that are both going to roll. And one of them heard something, so they are going to come this way. Hey, only one of them? Holy cow. We well, must be like the uh, luckiest people. Uh, of this time. group here, I'm going to now check for the other group. They have a bit of a penalty, though, because of the distance. They got a 49. Wow. Well, I mean, collectively, but I mean, one of them did have a 19, so he's going to hear a thing. Pardon me, I'm going to be a bit rude here. Go for it. Be rude. <clears throat> and they heard. So, it was a great plan. Uh, and the great plan is now a great melee. And because I don't think we're going to have a moment to do so for a while, I think we're going to take our break right now before this starts. As, okay. as the as the fish dies, uh, the beast says, Victor, we've done it your way. Time to do it my way. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, so um, we're gonna we're gonna get up. We're gonna walk around. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick break. Um, Bartholomew is gonna enjoy his last meal, and um, we will Wait. see you guys back here in a couple minutes for the you know epic conclusion of the campaign. Wait, what? All right. See you in the back. Why isn't that screen working? Oh, Barty boy. I don't know why my BRB screen isn't working, but you know what? Re screen or not, we're going to BRB. See you guys in a minute. And I'll just heal him up 10 points while he's not looking. There you go. All right. Be right back, everybody. If you have any questions for me or chat or any of our players, uh, go ahead and put it in um, in the comments. On the plus side, there is nothing in this fight that's actually going to be above CR2. That's good. Yeah. <clears throat> On the minus side, there are 16 things <laughs> that are CR2. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That's what I'm waiting for. But we can handle it. Sure. Absolutely. We've got our secret weapon. Donna, you brought the scroll of fireball, yeah? <laughs> hey, you don't have that? I have two spell slots. We I told you to bring the secret weapon. <laughs> oh, um Bacon, while we were on break, um chat healed Bartholomew for ten points, so I already applied it. Oh, hail the mighty chat! His HP has been tripled. 
I yeah, use, right. I use, I, I use all my most of my spells today on 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 Victor. Yeah, <laughs> about that. Are you you're gonna repent of that now? Yeah, I have a I have a feeling this is just not not gonna go well for us. Don't worry, we've got we've got the big man on our side. The beast will yeah, survive this. One... Even if Victor, if Victor dies, he'll just become the beast. That's the good ending. The hell is it? No, 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 I'm not going to ask. Nope. Underground, but gets too much, we start to retreat. He said we can go back. <laughs> All right. Any last questions for Chad for these for these characters before they um, pass it to the next world? I was going to say expire. <laughs> so, for, so they're of interest only to people like Donna. <laughs> so, so fun fact: what what does everybody have planned for your next character? Uh, <laughs> Wasn't thinking that far ahead. Oh, I have I have ideas. I'm thinking I'm thinking Richter, Richter the Beast Barbarian. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, okay, <laughs> from Victor to Richter. Okay. I'm Let's break your paladin. Nice. I mean, I want somebody to play a uh, um, old gods barbarian, preferably a, a, a halfling or a or a, a kobold or something, and he only carries a two-handed weapon and can't swing it until he gets angry. No more half a halfling barbarian, a la. Uh, one shot questers. Get with back to the surroundings. Yup. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> so. So yeah. So that's a thing. Okay. Yeah. Um. We're gonna go back, and we're gonna just consider this to be the start of a combat round. And we are going to begin with Bartholomew. Great. Except I have no targets. Correct. I mean, you can see the guys down here, but I, I think that that's out of range of your dart. Yeah, I'm, yes, that is almost assuredly out of dart range. Okay. Actually, let me double check. Now, I also played a short rest card, so if anybody gets anything back on a short rest, that's oh, not did just you? me. Go I, ahead and add that. Yeah. I missed it. Okay, yeah. Um, so anybody that wants to use a um, hit die to heal or any abilities you get on a short rest, um, complete card. You guys all just get a short rest. Eee. You get an adrenaline rest. <laughs> Char, to you use your uh, arcane recovery there, Donna? Uh, yeah, I did that. Brings back all of my that all of my key points too. Correct. That is that is important. That's big. That's and what I was can, hoping for. And you can use a hit die to um to more than likely heal back your four remaining points. Four HP. Yeah, I, I should have done and I didn't. Go ahead. So, having said, we'll go ahead and do that and I'll count myself. And out four. Just, Boom. There you go. Right on the money. Oh, right on the money. All right. So, but uh, the card is. Currently incorrect. Uh, here, I'll do it this way. There. There. Now it's fully effective. Hey, say something in chat so I can make that happen. All right. Also, type the word stop in the chat. When you do, somebody's heart will stop. This is your card. I will put it on the wall after the fight. Anyone check a spell recovery card? <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, if you could just repeat what you did with that uh, that uh, chill touch chill touch spell you just did <laughs> several dozen times. We should be Come good. Down. Haste, you are resubbed. Okay. All right. What's your plan, Bartholomew? Uh, let me check ranges here a minute. Where am I? I'm all the way over here. Nope. Completely outside of range for dart. <laughs> I think what I'll do... I will... Locate myself to here. Oh, he's in the water. No! That's what I get for looking at the chat. God damn it, Morden. Anyway. <laughs> um. All right. Yeah, no, I've got, I, yeah, go in the water. Hopefully one of these idiots come out, hold action, whack him upside the head. Okay. Um, That's what I'll have to do. Because I can't even see the opening over here. It's still dark. Because I don't have dark vision and crap. It's unfortunate. Puny, puny humans. Yep. Uh, Morden, any preference? Feel free to whisper it to me or send it to me in, in, um, uh, Discord. Cardinal, Chancellor, and Chamberlain. His name is Richard. Hey, Dickie. <laughs> I was waiting for a dick joke. You got one. Oh. Okay. Alright, give me one second. us on the edge of our seats here well i mean an unexpected card was played on top of all of the other unexpected stuff so i hope it's a good card i hope this isn't like the duchess shows up that would be uh unfortunate to say the least yeah that would be the end of it right there i think Uh, Morden, pick a number from one to seven. All right. In the meantime, the first thing that happens is the cardinal steps forward. Um, that would be in range. Uh, no, it wouldn't because he's getting ready to whack something coming around the corner with a stick. Um, so. <sighs> Bacon. Yeah. The Cardinal. Stumbles forward. Yeah. Flamekeeper vestments awry. Yeah. Holds up its hands. Yeah. And you see a sickly bluish green glow where you're used to seeing a flamekeeper's brilliant radiance. Yeah. And I need you to make a willpower, a wisdom save, sir. 
in theory. But we know how my dice have been going lately. No! They've been going no! like that! Oh, gosh. Bait. Okay. So I think I've got one left. You have two left because someone bought you one. And, oh, now you're right. and now you're down to one. And please reroll. That's more like it. Much better. <laughs> Glowing blue side. green energy. For a moment, for a split second, you feel your body racked with terror. And then yep. you refocus your mind, and it's fine, and that passes. Yeah. At which point, the creature sneers at you, locking gazes eye to eye. And I need you to make an additional saving throw, sir. Death glare. That's not promising. <laughs> so hopefully death is death glare is just like a flourish. It really just uh, tickles you a little. And whatever it's trying to do simply has no effect. Well, apparently I had an advantage on that. I'll, I'll hold uh, that. For we're next we're time. saving it for the attack. Yeah. Because that's coming next. Um... Let's just remove so him because he's a, dead. So it, it tried to do a thing. Bart sh uh, shook off a thing. Oh, keep it, in mind, it's still holding a holding a thing to holding a action to whack somebody over the head as they come around the corner. But in the meantime, he will do the tried and true hit <laughs> over at the cardinal because he's a dick. Yep. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. They're a dick, or it is a dick, or I have no idea. That's what I wanted to do. Right? Yeah. Okay. Um, Donna, you are up. All right. Um... Um, hmm. I'm going to, uh, probably stay where I am right now. Okay. Um, around this corner and do I have how long what's the 60 feet okay I'm going to I can I can kind of see this this thing over here this oh guy. yeah yeah I'll give that um, to you that looks clear enough uh, I'm just gonna just gonna reach out to him with a with a, a dagger throw it and do mind sliver a mind sliver on him nice so another intelligent save that that is not not strong suit. not their strong suit how about no cool so another two second damage and minus d4 at saving throw and this one that's going to charge forward one two three four five six Death by a thousand cuts. <laughs> and then this one is going to charge the corner and run right into a attack of opportunity or sorry, a held action by Bartholomew with advantage. Okay, now keep in mind, unfortunately, it's still in the dark for me, so I can't actually target him. Um So that will so the disadvantage of swinging at the target in the dark will be counteracted by your advantage, and you will attack normally. So I will just trust you there to you let me know. Oh, there we go. Thanks. All right, so we're on normal now. Thank you, and I appreciate that. And we will whack with a stick. 
And for Pete's sake, let's actually do it right this time. Oh, for the love of God. That will hit. Yes. Only just. But... You tell you've got quite a low threshold for missing these guys. Okay, fair enough, but still. I think it was because it was partially in the dark. I only got it glancing on him, so only five. Unfortunately. I mean, those are good reasons. Yep. Yep. It's a shame I don't have a D8 fire card, because suddenly I want to knee one of these things to the balls. Uh, Adrian, <laughs> sir, you are up. Okay, let's... <clears throat> First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move out from behind this corner. So... Let me check real quick. So I'm moving 10 feet over here, and then... Can I split my movement in two separate things? Yes. Okay. So I moved 10 feet here. I'm going to go ahead and cast Armor of Agathis on myself. Right. Okie doke. Maybe. Okay, and then I am going to walk the rest of the distance. Right there behind him. And then, can I, uh, would it count as an action if I tried to, um, intimidate them or no? Uh, you can give it a roll. All right, what are you trying to do? So I'll, I'll yell at the one that I just walked behind uh, and it's buddy over here down the hallway. Come fight me and see your end. And then I'm just waiting there with my sword out. Okie doke. One, two, three, four, five, six. Victor, your turn. Okay. Um... Would I know Baldwin Barthus's, uh, would he, would, did he have a significant other or a close personal friend, and would I know about it? History check. Okay. We'll give that a try. I got a 14. <sighs> you know that he did have a... It was a long time ago. You can't remember specifically if it was wife, girlfriend, concubine, but somewhere in that general vicinity uh, okay. named I'm gonna, uh, I'm, named oh, Isabel. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to charge around the corner and uh, I'm going to be like, hey, we are messengers for Isabel bringing something for Balrin. Uh, said you're spending a little too much time away from home. Said that her bed's getting a little cold, is what she said. Oof. Persuasion? Okay, all right. Uh, I will use a fate point to give myself advantage on this. Go for it. Uh, for a big... 13? Um, and I will also use the blessing of the rat god to help me out. Okay, okay. So. Victor, Victor doing the, the, the telegram for Mongo play. <laughs> 15? Big, uh, big 15. 15's my total. Okay. 
Ah, uh, he screams a bit. Um, we're gonna keep this a surprise for next round, and then okay. it is. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Slow down. Slow Sorry. Your roll. So is that an action? No, no, that's fine. Okay, then I will rage. Okay. Please, please and thank you. Uh, the weapon I choose for my beach form is claws. Boop, boop. Uh, and are there any fish people I can currently see? Um, I would say you can kind of make that one out from there. That's fine. Okay. Am I going with disadvantage? Um, disadvantage, but advantage for positioning, so cancels out, so normal. Okay. The first thing I will do, uh, for an action, I will take my potion of growth. So, make my monster grow! Make, make me large! Make my monster grow! Make there me large, please? Go. Nice. Ah! Back in my old digs. Holy crap, I'm gigantic. Um, and then I will use a fate point to action surge. <laughs> and I will attack this fellow below me, please. Okay, dope. So, um, just gonna roll, attack roll, 19. That will for, hit. Uh, so that will lots of hit. It'll be this damage. Plus uh, two from my rage and plus D4 from potion of growth. So 14 damage to him. Still alive? Uh, no. We'll give you that gone. Okay. Uh, and then I will. Uh, do I see anybody else? Or will I have to move into the darkness? Yeah. I mean, well, you can uh, you can hear something here. So Sweet. Yeah. I will roll with disadvantage. Correct. Uh, tack. With disadvantage. I got an 18 with disadvantage. I mean, that, <laughs> that, that will hit. Um, that will do a lot of hitting. Plus another... So another uh, 13 damage for this fellow. Uh, this one is the Cardinal. Oh, sweet. Making me look bad. That's uh, That's my turn. Okay. Um, this guy is going to come up. You look good in my eyes. Uh, uh even he'll attack Adrian, odd yeah. he'll attack Bart. Of course. So it's Bart. Yep, of course it is. Because why would it be anything but Bart? Why would that be? That, however, is most definitively a miss. Okay. So he comes around the corner, is getting ready to, to, to stab at you with the spear, and you notice that in the middle of the thrust, his eyes turn towards the mo towards the 14-foot-tall monster standing in the corridor, and he's like, what? <laughs> the hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, I gotta roll how long this lasts. I'm sorry. So it'll last for four hours. I'm big for four hours. <laughs> I, any longer than that, you have to consult, you know, your apothecary. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Chamberlain? It's going to come over here. Um, Victor, please give me a wisdom saving throw. Oh dear. I got two fate points left. I guess I'll use one to give myself advantage on this one. Okay. I'm worried he's going to like dominate me and make me attack yeah. you guys. So just... no, that's, that's, I'm thinking too, done it person. Yeah, that was the... Oh, what is that? Jeez. Oh, uh, well, I gave it ahead of time, so I guess I could use my last one to re-roll this. You you could use your last one to re-roll. Oh my gosh. Uh, you get to re-roll both, because you wow. have advantage. Okay, big money. Big money. Big money. <laughs> wow. Okay, I guess my bad luck has caught up with me, so nine. Oh, total. it very much has. You are frightened of the Chamberlain for one minute. Mm. Okay. That, I'll be okay. 
I just can't move closer to him, and I have disadvantage on attack rolls while I can see him. Correct. I mean, would, wouldn't you have advantage anyway because you're raging? Because you, raging you doesn't frightened? help with fear. No, raging doesn't help with fear. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Now it will counteract the disadvantage on attack rolls because it, yeah, one plus one minus equals flat. However, he now will use his death glare on Victor. So I will need you to now out of fate points, I would need you to make a wisdom saving throw, please, and make it better than all the ones you've rolled so far. No can do, boss. Uh, seven. Okay. On the plus side, due to the Miracle Max that was just played by Haste Dragon, you are no longer afraid of the Chamberlain, and you cannot be affected by, um, by this fear from any of the other three for the remainder of the fight, the same as um, Bartholomew. On the downside, Ooh, thank you so much. All right, you downside. do fail the death save. Okay. And you are reduced to zero hit points, sir. Nice. Okay. Um, okay, I'm down. Good stuff. Moments like these that I wish I were. I think I had great work. timing. No. <laughs> yeah. And now the Chancellor. I don't know if that actually will work or not, but I'm cheating, damn it. That works. Oh. I mean, it's been used on you a bunch of times. Um, you are still going to be prone, but you are no longer dying, uh, and you are at 10 hit points. 10 hit points. Wow, okay. Which is better than dying. I would agree. Thank you. And now, the Chancellor reaches you, um, who cannot uh, horrific appearance you, and is not going to death glare you. Um, uh, it is, however, just going to rake at you with large fishy claws. Whatever that would mean. 16 hits. That's my, that, that is my AC. So Okay. I was going to say, it looks like he's attacking me. Yeah, he wasn't. He was attacking uh, over there. Um, also, he has advantage because I am prone. Yeah. So he most definitely would hit. And okay, seven points of damage. Three damage. Yep. And the last one of the turn... One, two, three, four, five, six. Start of the turn, Bartholomew. Oh. Thank God for the power of chat, right? Thank God for the power of chat. No kidding. All right, well, unfortunately, I can't do much else aside from this jackass right down here, so a little bit of slap. I mean, it's a good place to start. Yep. Hmm. Attacking a fish face. I was going to say, if you do that again, I'm going to be really... <laughs> that, that is a hit, sir. How did I lose the attack? It should have been this, there. <clears throat> All right. Uh, this, uh, this is taking me a little bit here. Bear with. Uh, hey, thank you for the bits. Let me, let me bring up the damage. Not a lot. But, Six? You know. I mean, yeah. every little bit counts. Yeah, it was five before and then six. No, it wasn't. This is a new crit, new thing, right? Yes. And I still have one, and I still have a fate point, huh? You still have a fate point, and uh, you also still have all of your key points and could, you know, have some furry blows. Well, let's see here. Wait a minute. That's right. Expand key. Flurry of blows! Jizz. Go for it. Now I'm trying to... Re oh, good lord. I used the stick with that yet, right? Uh, so it would be unarmed. Right. Unarmed strikes. That's going to be two unarmed... Oh, two tr proper unarmed strikes. Right, yes. right, right, right. Okay. So, 
two. And here's the first one. Well, that'll hit. For six points of damage. And he is bloodied. And then here's the other one. Because of the flurry thing. That'll and hit. that'll hit. Right. Don't crit. And seven points of damage, so he is even more bloodied. And now the bonus action. Uh, that that count, the flurry counts as your bonus action. Oh, that's right. Yep. Well, there it is then. There it is then. There it is. Um, The cardinal attacks. And misses Victor, but he should have advantage right now, so I'm going to roll again. 22 will hit, Victor. There we go. For six damage. That puts him to one. All right. Still there alive. you go. What we call a rounding error, folks. <laughs> uh, and Victor, as, as he feels the claws from the evil fish cardinal rake through his back. He just feels this immediate boost of adrenaline and heals 40 points of damage. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, did you say 40? 4-0, yes. Holy cow! Also, because chat giveth and chat also taketh away, um, you guys aren't used to fighting in these conditions, you know, the, the cramped, the wet, the Delirium yeah. infused haze all around. So yeah. everyone basically is fatigued for five hit points. Okay. So everybody loses five? Everybody loses five. Okay. Sweet. Uh -huh. all right. is it, does that come out of my normal hit points or uh, temporary? That can points? come out of temps. Uh, and for Victor, because of the order of cards that happened before you got your full healing, so basically uh, you get raked in the back and you're like, oh, not a no, not again, and you're fine. Oh. Okay, all right. And, well, actually, um, and big, uh, big Adrian nasty would probably want to not take it out of temps, right? Uh, it, uh, any damage will come out of temps first. So uh, okay, yeah. Too bad. Um, and Donna, it is your turn. All right. I'm going to move down a bit. Okay. Um, seeing Victor on the ground and seeing the Cardinal looming over him. Yep. I'm going to target the Cardinal and start calling out, focusing on the spirits of Drakenheim. And I'm going to, and you'll, you, the rest of you will see the spectral image of what looks kind of like a ringmaster or some kind of like li like lion tamer just like appeared next to him and with his massive whip just rake him across the face as I use Tasha's mind whip on him. Nice. Oh, all right. Love your spell descriptions. Go hit. I know, man. It's uh intelligent save. But yeah, it's intelligent all right. save. I just roll <laughs> just roll your freaking damage. <laughs> I mean, this one has a chance technically, but <laughs> then it rolls like that. So yeah. Also, um, Victor just got a fate point. So. Oh my god. So gosh. you've got one. Oh, you guys are gonna see some serious stuff with this fate. Oh. Point. So thirteen psychic damage to the cardinal as the whip wraps around his body and digs into his mind. Now he, uh, uh, on his next turn, it must choose if it takes a move, an action, or a bonus action. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can we choose one of them? Yep. <laughs> so the the cardinal being attacked on all sides, and you just hear foul evil swords. And then I am going to uh, move back over here. That's a good call. <laughs> okay. Um. One, two, three. For attacking Adrian. Okay. 
but let me get up the right card because this is i mean like i'm sub i'm subbing in something but that doesn't mean the card is exactly correct but it's enough it's correct enough to miss so adrian it is your turn sir Okay, I am going to. Am I am I lower than the ledge? Yes, you are like waist high okay. in water at the moment. Okay, I am going to then swing at this one in front of me. You, um, as he comes in and goes to claw at you, the, the shot lands, but then you use the momentum of that and just thrust right through him. Go ahead and roll your damage. Nice. Getting a solid bite with the sword and cutting deeply into him. And then I will move past him. Uh, that will grant this guy an attack of opportunity. Which one? The one in front of me or the one behind me? The one behind you. Go for it. Okay. Misses like a champ. Go ahead. Oh, where are you going? Because um, I think I might want an attack of opportunity as well. <laughs> I'm going to try Wait, to grab your coat you wanna... and be like, I, we're leaving. <laughs> I was going to I was going to just like walk uh, past this guy, 10 feet past him, hopefully give him an attack of opportunity. Okay. And uh, now this one will take an attack of opportunity. And he'll also miss like a champ. Bang, Adrian. That armor of Agatha is so sad. It's like they know. I know. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to get hit. Somebody hit me! <laughs> and that's my turn. You hit me! <laughs> All right. Well... This one's going to try and, you know, give you your wish because he's going to step forward and he's going to swing at you with um, with his uh, with his spear, which from now on we will call a fish stick. Oh, there we go. The crit. And he Ooh. successfully hits. You got your wish. <laughs> so. Alrighty. So how much so damage take... does he take? He takes 10 cold damage. So as Ooh. his uh, weapon hits me. Uh huh. As his weapon hits me, he hits. He gets covered in this biting frost from his hands up to his arms. That's not nice. Unfortunately, neither is this. And you take 12 points of damage. Yeah. Okay. But that does come out of whatever's left of your temps first. Yes. Of uh, and now, who is Veronica Venom? Hopefully, that's a friendly person. More than through that card, I'm guessing no. <laughs> From the darkness behind you. Uh, I got to roll because I don't even know where she would attack. Okay. From the darkness behind you, Bartholomew, you hear the distinctive whistle sound of a crossbow bolt. Oh, lovely. 
and I have absolutely no way of gucking. I don't think I have that kind of time. The shot whizzes within an inch of the side of your head. And uh -huh. in the darkness that you can't see in front of you, you hear... Dang. All right. Hey. Yes, we have a friend. <laughs> Sorry I doubted you, Morden. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry. Both of these should have had advantage. Not that it mattered. Hey, Dragon played mistaken identity. Boy, I hope so. When, this, when this baby <laughs> has advantage, you're going to see some serious crits. And the second shot that goes by, again, just missing your head, um, yeah. just obliterates whatever it hit in the middle of the, um, uh, in, in the middle of the swamp. Uh, Victor saw the, um, the sea folk next to you get hit once in the chest with a crossbow bolt. It then screamed out in pain, which the, uh, which the archer used as a pinpoint reference for the second shot which lands three inches above its mouth oh. Ooh. Gee. Ooh. I think uh Victor got thrown off the the comet tracker after he oh, there he goes nope okay we have just a yeah, different Victor all right Victor okay first it is your turn, first, I, will, I will stand up second thing second I will attempt to grapple the Chancellor because he was he did strike me with his claws, so he should he be did. within my range. Yeah. Uh, he is. Or the Cardinal? Yes. The uh, um, No, I don't want the Cardinal. Oh, okay. I want the Chancellor. <laughs> is it Feo <laughs> Oh. Well, I'd call that I a big guess. I got a 24. Guess. Yep. Uh, oh, that was just that was his strength. I'm sorry. It should have been a 26. So, uh, I mean, one hand, I grab It was still him. a 20. It was still a crit. So yeah, I will. I will step forward and I will try to grab Adrian as well. Okay. Will you allow me to grab you, Adrian? Uh, yeah, go for it. I'm interested to see what you're doing. I'll step back and then I will use my fate point to dash. Let's let's get out of here. <laughs> I got the guys. I got the I got the seal guys. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, because you just grabbed the chancellor and you ran. Yeah, problem solved. <laughs> <laughs> as you as you run by, you see um, a woman dressed in black on black on black with a pair of black short swords and a black wicked looking crossbow. Uh, kill this guy I have in my hand. Not this guy. I like shake Adrian vigorously and uh, this guy. I <laughs> shake the other guy. <laughs> Can I take a stab while I'm being manhandled? Um, when it gets back around to your to your action, absolutely. Okay. Uh, I'll let Victor like take his two toys and just go like, and then you're just like, Coink. <laughs> that's great. Because sure, why not? Oh, holy cow! Oh, somebody! If anybody does fan art of that, oh my goodness, <laughs> I would pay some serious money for some fan art of that. <laughs> um. Ridiculous. Uh, the fish boy attacks Bartholomew and misses. Well, good. Where the hell are um, we? We gotta put you over here. And we gotta put the Chancellor over there as well. I think he... Oh, yeah. And we'll put the Chancellor over here too. Boop, boop. This <laughs> is... So the cardinal, emotional growth. I love it. And, it, <laughs> and the cardinal and Chamberlain are still there, and everybody else is good. And they're now trying to chase after you to try to figure out what to do. Chamberlain is going to go one, two, three, four, and will attack Bartholomew. Hold him off, Bart. With his Hold claws. Because, Here I mean... We go. Thanks, mm -hmm. guys. What else would he do? I grow tired of his whimper. Yeah, no, it's true. Oh, the oh. grand boy! I mean, that why? whimper turned into a roar. 
Why? Bartholomew takes 26 points of damage. I am dead, dead. Well, no, I guess I'm not dead yet, but I am at minus seven or minus 12, come to think of it. Bartholomew, you took an attack of more than your total hit points. Yeah. I'm dead. By normal rules, you are dead, dead. Yeah, However, in this case, we are going to count that as your first death save. Now, I'm going to do something unique with death saves that I heard somebody talking about recently that I really, really like. Okay? Okay. Which is, I'm going to roll the death save for you. Okay. And the party will not know if you succeeded or failed. And while right. I'm doing this die roll, yeah. you are going to have Bartholomew has a flashback. Bartholomew in starting to see the light of the tunnel in front of him. Oh boy. Bartholomew sees the meteor descending when i'm eight years old great you see the meteor coming down yeah 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 and before anything else happens you receive uh, you you receive twenty points of healing from chat. Yeah, you're no fun. Good <laughs> chat. However, because you had to make a death save, you also have one level of exhaustion. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't remember so, what that does exactly. It's been a while. A disadvantage on all ability checks. Yes. The first one isn't as the, the first one isn't as bad. Two get bad. Six are fatal. Yeah. Automatically. <laughs> and four cards were played. What now? And that was the Chamberlain. Dying is exhausting. Yes. Wait, more cards were played? Oh, the, 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 the fatigue one that was in there? Yeah, I was going to do that at the start of the turn. Don't worry. I didn't miss it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dying is exhausting. Gray would know. Um, the Chancellor is going to try to break free. I want to break free uh, of his grasp oh. from. Yeah. Yeah, no. Just no. Um, I mean, there's a chance. But not when he rolls like that. <laughs> so, no. Uh, however, he has now been carried close enough to Donna where I need Donna to do a wisdom save. Okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> not the death glare. No! No, no, the fear. Oh, oh my okay. goodness gracious. Excuse me. Good lord. And she's fine. She's not afraid of dying. She deals with the dying all the time. Speaking of the dying. I'm already one foot in the grave. And we go up to the start of the turn. And again, the fumes down here are just getting to all of you. And you all take five hit points worth of damage. Ugh. Not good. Including your allies. Oh, she's fine. She probably has, like, 70 HP. Stop looking at my notes. Um, <laughs> and Bartholomew, it, once you are done subtracting your five hit points from that massive, massive stack of a dozen you have, uh, yeah. it is your turn, sir. Right. So... Art run! I can't... Yes, you, oh. it's called Step of the Wind, Bard. 
Remember, you can disengage as a bonus Remember action Remember your by training, a key and you will make it out alive. <laughs> <laughs> he just yeah, goes. Ah, not the wind, not the wind, yeah, ah, no, ah, no, the wind. Right. <laughs> Yes, we are officially in, is spending a key point and engaging free buy mode. Go for it. Disengage. All right. So that's, I you think it's supposed to be 40 feet because mm -hmm. my move is 40 feet. Yep. All right. So we'll just, I'm not particularly that's proud of this. There you go. And now what do you do for your action, which you also um, have available? I'll hold it to flack somebody upside the head if they get too no, close. No, keep going, Bart. <laughs> nope. Bart, no. Keep going. I'm sorry. The raging monster is telling me to f run. I got a problem with that. You gotta keep going 40 more feet, Bart. Right. <laughs> Fine, screw you. I'm out. <laughs> I have to say, you're All at the top of the round, so, like, everybody's yeah. gonna go. All right. <laughs> You, so I, so. Uh, yeah, I guess some, I get there. Good enough. Okay, well, you're actually, actually only going to make it to here. And that's yep, because, absolutely. thanks to chat, at the exact moment that you are trying to make your escape. Oh, no. What did chat do to me? Terminator shows up and says, Come with me if you want to live. <laughs> out of the um uh out of the the sewer main i have a really bad feeling about this i'm sorry bard i shouldn't have told you to dash <laughs> chat giveth chat taketh away chat watch you make death saves um Next. That has decided the Bart is boring, and you know what? I get it. <laughs> Next is the Cardinal. Uh, who is going to attack Victor in the back. Do your worst, priest. Well, he, he can only move. He can either move or attack. Cardinal oh, right. Oh, the mind. There you go. <laughs> Forgot about the mind whip. You are correct. Um, so that's going to be it for him, and it is now Donna's turn. Clutch, clutch, mind whip. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Um. Which way are we going? <laughs> North. Follow Bart. Actually, he he probably needs help to see. Please help him. <laughs> Bacon, you can't see what I just put in front of you, can you? Nope. Okay, cool. Let me change it to make it worse. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I can uh, I can see what's in front of him. <laughs> uh, I, I kind of look over and go, I just go to, to back to, to Victor. To Vic, Victor goes, There's a lot more of them north. Oh, uh, I can't imagine it's worse than what's to the west. We could try east. As if on cue, to the west, you hear a massive chamber resonating roar. Hey, I didn't know that roar. That's the Duchess. Nope. Oh, that's what I remember her from. <laughs> terrifying <laughs> oh, roar. Oh, that her? And suddenly all the bells are... Okay, yes. She's scary. Yes, she's very big. What'd you do, Donna? 20, 25, 30. Is, does, this, does this look like a way up? Out? Yes. It will take 20 feet of movement up. Okay. It is a ladder, so you can climb it as if you had climbing, which means since you moved 20, you can be 10 feet up the ladder at the end of your turn. Okay. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, follow what Victor says. Uh, 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 trust Victor with what he's doing, and I'm just going to to um, use my act, use uh, uh, my action to dash and go up. Okay. 
and try and get out as fast as I can. Okay. Um, you are going to be out of this encounter. You will be upstairs. We will get to that in a second. But you have you managed to survive. Tell us where you are. <laughs> call, call our names. Donna. Uh, Adrian, it is your turn. Unless you try to break the hold, you cannot move. I will, however, allow you to do an attack action of your choice at disadvantage. Oh, boo. I'm sorry, Adrian. <laughs> it's hard to That's swing. Okay. It, it, it's hard to swing when in the tentacled octopus like grip of a 14 foot tall monstrosity. At least that would be my assumption. I mean, valid. Thank you for the yeah. bits. I'll let you free if you like. So, I mean, I will take your action. No. If you want to. Uh, I am going to. Are you carrying the Chancellor, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Which means swinging at the Chancellor would. The chancellor. Okay. So, swinging okay. at the Chancellor also would then counteract the disadvantage because he would also be at disadvantage because he is also grappled. So, you would have advantage and disadvantage and be back to normal. But he is hexed. What stat are you choosing? It's the curse. No, no stat on the. Yeah, curse. this is the curse. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, so I am going to use my Eldritch Blast on him. I feel <laughs> like that's just easier. Okay. Um, roll as normal. You have a plus one to hit thanks to haste. Big money, big money, big money, big money. All right. The big money. And because I didn't realize that's what haste meant last time when he did 100 bits before, I'll also give you a plus one to the damage. So there you go. Sweet. Oh, you missed you missed the crit by one? Oh, you got an 18 instead of a 19. Oh, so close. Get so far away. Every time. 12 damage. Mm -hmm. And then I will go ahead and use a fate point to attack him again. Okay. But this time... Because th that sucks, so on. <laughs> I'm playing an auto crit card because I want that crit. Go for it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, big money. Now, what's the crit damage? Is it just. It is. It should be when done properly. Um, your normal damage plus the max you could possibly do. So just roll normally, and I will then also apply your max damage. Okay. And then the plus one. Uh, so so basically, just it's, on the first one. Yes. So basically, uh, it's a normal attack plus seventeen. So it's a guaranteed seventeen damage. So twenty-eight. Okay. Woof. Uh, he's bloodied. Just bloodied, huh? So, oh, wait, after the 12 damage from earlier? Or another? Yeah. Oh. Uh, from your two attacks, he is now bloodied. I'm so sorry, guys. He's mad. <laughs> That's okay. The poison girl will finish him off. Um, moving that way. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. She's going to spend it on this one. Just to make sure. And the Cardinal survives. Oh, was he not? Was she not going for the Chancellor? No. Oh, she was going. Yeah. She was, she's going for everything that's trying to chase after you guys. She's less worried about the thing that you're holding. Okay, fair enough.
And then she also takes a shot at uh, the Chamberlain. And then unless you don't allow her to squeeze past you, we'll run past you she as well. friendly enough. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> She's friendly ish. Ish. <laughs> oh dear. Alright. Um, we're going to go here and you are going to get stabbed in the back by a fish stick, which will not stab you in the back. So apparently I lied. Uh, and it is your turn, sir. Okay. So of course there are several things I would like to do DM. So I guess okay. I would ask you a ruling here on, uh, all the things I can do. I guess what I would like to do would be one would be to get Adrian to the to the ladder. Okay. Uh, two would be to squeeze the life out of the chancellor. Um, if that's not possible, I would be willing to leave him alive if I could like just take his chain and just rip it off him and, and take the chain and go. Uh, and then me reasonably get out of here. That's that's kind of like the things that I'm going for this round. So tell me how how how, how we could best swing this. Um. <laughs> You get one attack per turn currently, correct? I currently get two. Uh, okay. With my with my claw with my beast strike. Um, um, you can take you can take an attack at um at the chancellor uh, to just kind of crush him. Uh, you can move your normal movement, which will invoke two attacks of opportunity. I'm fine with yeah whatever. And the opportunity then you can either. With your extra action, either attack another target or lawn dart Adrian at the ladder. <laughs> Do I think I can kill the Chancellor with just one attack? Is that plausible? I mean, you could take that attack first and find out. All right. Why the heck not? We'll, uh, we'll go for that. Okay. Do I have advantage? You have advantage because she okay. is grappled, restrained, terrified. Bloody, whatever else. Wow, sure. well, that chill on that one. Yeah. Uh, whoops, not attack. Cancel. Close. Damage. So it's going to be this. Uh, normal. And we'll add a d4 because of the potion of enlarge. And plus two because I'm raging, so 12 damage to him. And he is dead. All right. He, uh, he pops like a balloon and yep. his guts ooze down. And I, uh, I catch the, I catch the chain on my thumb. I catch okay. the chain on my thumb. Yep. Uh, and then I start moving. Give me them attacks of opportunity. Okie doke. Eighteen's a hit. Or one damage. I appreciate the effort. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit that. To claws. 21 is a hit. Yeah, that is. Oh, I rolled the the wrong two. Oh, roll. so oh, for some reason that looks like my roll. Uh, but it, it would have it it would have been fine. So I'm gonna count it and then we'll do this and 14, which would be seven slashing. All right, that puts me to 19 HP. So I'm okay. comfortably feeling comfortable. Thanks you, to chat. You can move, and um, Veronica is not going to impede your movement. You can move through her square freely. Um, so I'm having a little trouble seeing because it's dark, Uh huh. but I will do my best to take Adrian and shove him up through the top of the ladder portion here and then and uh, do my best to try to start fitting through. Well, you've got a bit further to go to get to the ladder. Oh, is it more? Yeah, the ladder is in fact here. Okay, well, let's double check. I was what, here. Yep. So we're going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, Stop 25. right there. Oh, stop here? Yeah. Oh, sh- Rats! <laughs> um... Then I will do my best to get Adrian up the, uh, up the ladder. So you're gonna throw Adrian at the ladder? Yeah. All right. Uh, give me. I, I would have left the manhole open so you could see it. So at least there was the. Uh, give Give me a, uh, a, a attack roll, please. Uh, okay. Please do... don't miss this. 
Can I go reckless to get advantage? Yes. I will allow you to go reckless to get advantage. Recklessly right. throw Adrian. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what the heck was that? I mean, you were throwing him at a ladder, so I'm going to say that that's sufficient. Um, okay. uh, Adrian, give me a dexterity or acrobatics check. Your total will be how many feet up you manage to be able to grab onto the ladder. If your total is 20 or higher, you literally, like, are thrown at the manhole cover and just parkour your F right out there. <laughs> All right, Mr. Acrobat. Oh, how about that? 16. You are 16 All feet right. up. Hello. <laughs> See, Donut's head Hi. Like, poking up from, 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 from above. <laughs> Pull me up! Pull me up! <laughs> you right, hear behind like you it. a mass of yelling, you know, fish creatures as they are all trying to rush to catch up to you. And Bartholomew, yep. it is your turn and you have advantage. Oh, do I? Yes. That's nice. The ladder's over here. Uh huh. You you would uh, you know what I'm gonna say? You would be able to see that there is an open manhole cover there, so you would be able to see where the where the the Light's ladder is. Lights coming down. Yeah. Okay. As I really don't like the idea... Okay. DM, I've got a question. Uh-huh. Can I key Step of the Wind free <laughs> by out of here? I mean, you have a key point, right? I do. And you are... Wrong button. I mean, 80 feet. Yeah, you should have one. Yeah, you are 10 way. feet from the ladder... It is 20 feet up. You most definitely can make it out. Look, guess what? <laughs> the estate didn't raise no dummies. That's the last of my key points. <laughs> Bye mode, please. Okay. And you are, you are, sir, no longer included in this encounter. Wow. Um... And the Cardinal. Tasha's is how long? Just the one I round. Did, just the one round. It's like he's fine now. All right. Well, that's that's bad for Veronica. You still want to play after what happened to your mate? So the, the Cardinal, as she's trying to run down the corridor, she like ducked under a little bit so that Victor could run by. As she's getting back up, the Cardinal catches her and like claws her uh, hard in the thigh. Uh, Adrian, it is your turn, sir. Okay. Uh, out, out the hole? Yeah, uh, yeah I will yeah. go right out the hole. Okie doke. I'll grab Adrian's arm, just kind of help him out. Okie doke. In a double move that will provoke two attacks of opportunity. That one will miss. And that one will miss. Um, the black cloaked figure kind of like jumps and wall runs past Victor and says, hurry up, big guy, and lunges for the ladder and is out. Yeah, 
Okay. <gasps> Can't make it. <laughs> Can't make it. Makes it. Mm. He has advantage because I was reckless. Uh huh. And also, there's targets in front of you, so he would have advantage anyway. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. 22 is a hit. Yep. Yeah. 10 becomes five. 5. All right. Puts me to 14. Oh, I'm sorry. For some reason, I hit enter. It rolls an unarmed strike. That's fine. Uh, and one of these. Eighteen's a hit, yeah. Death by a thousand cuts. Uh, puts and me to twelve. That's two more. And haste gives you ten hit points back. Oh wow! He's. Thank Those you, 10 chat. hit points go a long way. That's like giving me 20 HP. Yeah. You get more bang for your buck. That one is fight, not this. And that will hit. <laughs> Let's be honest. Let's all be honest, please. And uh, that'll be six more points seven. of damage. Uh, yeah, six. six so yep. It's been a 16. And uh, that is everyone that's going to be able to reach him in this turn. I mean, technically, I should probably roll initiative for these guys as they're clambering out, but, you know, who cares? Uh, because I'm assuming you're just going to try to take a million attacks and make it to the ladder and squeeze up through the hole in the ceiling? Yeah, I would like to use a fate point to use the disengage action, and then I will use my action to dash okay. to get on out of there. Can you... Voluntarily cancel the duration of a potion? Uh, no. Okay. What if it's big enough for a medium creature? It's uh, it's small enough for a large it's small creature to for squeeze. Large tr creature to squeeze. Which is uh, which is half speed. I should have 60, 60 feet should should be enough. Uh, unless unless you want me to triple dash. If you'll have me triple dash and give me all those attacks of opportunity, I guess I I I, I can go for it if you like. Um. Give me a dex, strength, or athletics roll. Your target is an eight. Are you kidding me? There you <laughs> go. Don't you bother to have me roll. <laughs> in case you roll double ones, because that would mean you couldn't squeeze through in time and they would all get attacks of opportunity on, on your footsies. Okay. I will pop out. Um... I will slam the manhole down and I will sit on it as I finish my rage. I finish my rage, but um, I'm still big. I'm just big Victor. I'm no okay. longer a 14 foot tall beast. I'm just like a 10 foot tall Victor. You come out onto the street. You see Donna. You see Bartholomew. You see Adrian. You have the necklace. Guys, we did it. <laughs> Um, so I'm like covered in like cuts and crap. And you see Veronica and Bartholomew and yeah. Victor. Give me a history check. Okay, here we go. This yes, I might not be able to do because they actually have something on it. 18. That's right, I used all my. Nope. Okay. I fell asleep that day. Ignorance is bliss. You don't know where you are, Bartholomew. You just know that you're on a street in Drakenheim. And, you know, over to the west there, you see a nice, long, straight stretch of road that leads to what looks like kind of a plaza with a well in the middle of it. I'm going to wish Ver I'd made that wall. Veronica 
looks at the four of you and says, We just came up on the edge of Slaughterstone Square. Oh, who the heck are you? Be but thank you. very quiet. Hopefully we're far enough away that it can't hear us or smell us. Given what I've told you about Donna's interests, does uh -huh. she know about this stuff? I will also allow you a history roll. Okay. And for you, rather than just telling you where you are, because you know the history of Slaughterstone Square, you will know what this is. Good enough. So Slaughterstone Square is thus named because this is where the public executions were carried out um, during the reign of, well, all of the kings of Westamar. And the publicly executed were killed by a massive mechanical device called the executioner so that no living being had to deal with the guilt of executing the convicted. Um, after they were beheaded by the executioner, their bodies were then thrown into the well, which would deliver them directly to a sewer cistern so that they could, you know, decompose and be carried out of the city as is befitting the the funerary rites of someone convicted of a crime high enough to be worthy of execution. The executioner is a 15 foot tall mechanical monstrosity designed to behead anything. I, I look over at Veronica and I nod to her and I go, yes, this is the place. It's where it is, isn't it? Be very quiet and follow me as quietly as you can. And if you cough, I'm running. She's pointing directly at Adrian. <laughs> Everyone, please give me a stealth roll. Oh, good. Mine's with disadvantage because of the plate armor. Sure. Plate. Why not? That always makes it better. Have you used your rat god yet? You have. Yes, you did. <laughs> So you guys start moving, start moving, start moving, and then you just hear the armor, like, clang on a rock. And you hear a weird sound. Doesn't matter, I dropped something. You didn't roll this badly. Because <laughs> you have bonuses. So you hear a weird sound. It sounds... Almost like the clank of armor, the zap in the air from, like, electricity, and almost like a whir all at the same time. Yeah. And you see behind you, you hear thump. Thump, thump, and you see a 15 foot tall suit of armor carrying a battle axe or an executioner's axe, the blade of which is about the size of a normal man. Veronica screams. Run for your lives! And sprints. I shall do the same. Yep. Yep. I will Stay pick on. up Adrian and throw him. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully that'll help him get started a little bit. 
give him a head start, and then I will also run for my life. Okay. Um, you will get away so long as I do not beat any one of you in three head-to-head -head athletics or acrobatics checks. Your target roll for the first one is a 10. I got a 26. That's pass. 21. Bacon. Hey yo. Okay. Your target for the second roll is a 21. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I got a 17. Let's see if anybody can beat 17. <laughs> Uh, no, no, nobody right, won that. So time. that is one for you, one for me. First one to get to three wins. Okay. Third check. Your target's a fifteen. Another, another twenty-six. All right, feeling That's, pretty good. You got two. Uh, I feel like Adrian really wants a plus one right now. I'm gonna use my. Uh, I'm gonna, can I use my use rat god thing? Yeah, go ahead. Use your rat god thing. Okay. Cool. There. Was that enough? Uh. Oh, you mean you mean for Adrian or for for your role? Oh, I got confused with Adrian. Never mind. Yeah. Would Would you, would you like sense. to use? You, you can still have your rat god thing. Would you like to spend a fate point? Uh. Yeah, I'll spend a point on this one, on okay. this thing. One shot, let's see. Oh. oh, okay, so Donna's not running that good. Hold on. Okay, so I'm guessing I roll a critical failure for the next one. Yep. Okie doke. So everybody, yes, please. everybody needs your, your target number for the next roll is a six. And now is when all the twenties come out. <laughs> oh, go figure. Now you, Donna. Day. Now use your rat god because now 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 it'll probably be enough. Oh. There you go. There you go. Oh, be stole my heart. All right. So I believe at the moment that's three for Victor, two for everyone else. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And as the machine keeps chasing you down, Ugh. that's an eighteen. Is there anything I could do? Can I like pick up part of like a like a statue or something and like hurl it in the thing's path? I, the the machine cannot be distracted from its task. Oh, all right, so that's twos all around. That means this will be our final rolls, and your target number no, is. What? Hang on, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Well, Victor's already out haste, so you can throw your advantage at somebody else. And also, thank you for the bits. Actually, no, I'm throwing a disadvantage at the beast. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully that will be enough to keep us alive. Your okay. target is an 11. And haste is going to give one of you advantage. And Adrian gets advantage. Okay. Bartholomew makes it out. Oh! <laughs> Adrian makes it out. Donna makes it out. You guys all just barely, at, like, literally diving for the gate at the end of Slaughterstone Square. And as you manage to get through the gates, the axe of the creature swings behind you, cracking sparks across the iron grates, uh, across the iron gate at the end of Slaughterstone Square. It stops. Thank you so much for that advantage. 
it stops oh it turns and for the first time you notice that on the spikes of its armor along its shoulders and back there are dozens of impaled bodies because of course there are and it chomp chomp back towards the center of slaughterstone square as it as it turns around to walk away donna stands there and just stares at it for a while watching it donna sees and hears a dozen echoing repeated final words you hear oh my god no you hear claire run you just hear all of these echoing conversations of the last moments of all of the victims that are mounted on the executioner donna just kind of grits her teeth squinting at each one of them and just stares at as, as it just as it walks away just standing there motionless watching it until it, until it leaves her sight wow <laughs> haste thank you for that alert that came up really late but that's okay because we have dealt with it in chat in, in a much more timely manner all right so congratulations guys you have i mean not faced the duchess but you have killed the chancellor retrieved a sigil and escaped the executioner of slaughterstone square I don't think I can come up with a more appropriate milestone than that. Yeah. Yay. Pretty wild. That was. Oh, good God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that so, one. Uh, that was. Uh... For a moment, we all just look around and uh, Victor uh, kind of snuffles. He's like back in my old home. About how different it is. Donna, um, clenching her fists, uh, you kind of hear her just say, That's it. That's him. Yeah. And she can't, she turns around to the rest of you, and you see, you can see she's kind of like in the middle of crying. Yeah. Him. That's, it's a machine. It's just it. Do you have some history with the executioner? That's that's why I'm here. That's who I've come to kill. Holy cow! You picked quite the target. There. <laughs> <laughs> you picked quite the target. Holy moly! <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, Adrian's, like, shaking a bit. His armor's kind of clanging a little, like, shoulder pads are clanging together while he's shaking. He goes, let's, uh, let's deal with that one at a later date. First things first, uh, lady dressed in black, do any of us here recognize her? Have any of us seen her before? You've never seen her before. And if you could recognize her, you wouldn't be able to in her She's got, like, a face guard. mask. Okay. Yeah. All right. Who are you? And also, thank you. Thank you for helping us out. We probably would all be dead if not for you. But uh, who are you? What do we owe you? My name is Veronica. I am the leader of the Catacomb Cobras. And I never say this, but I think I'm buying you guys a round of drinks. Let's go. And we'll end you there. <laughs> Can oh, we, no, uh, no, before, we get the, drinks, before, we, before we get that round of drinks, Veronica, can we get like a short rest somewhere? Do you know any <laughs> hideouts? You, you, you'll, you'll get a short rest at or the bar so that rest. you guys can all level up. <laughs> oh. Are, are we going to just jump to the next scene? Do we get this level up now, or are we going to... I, I will give you guys the level up now, and then like it, the next scene will be we'll we'll be talking through the short rest and you will get to meet oh. who Veronica is next week and then but but we'll assume that the level happens during that period so you can go ahead and level in the week between and it's fine. 
Uh, and Chat, mm -hmm. this is the moment where Chat gets to decide who gets a free fate point. Do you want to give it to Adrian? Do you want to give it to Victor? Do you want to give it to Bartholomew? Do you want to give it to Donna? Do you want to give it to Michael? Do you want to give it to Ben? Do you want to give it to Bacon? Do you want to give it to Jenny? Also, I will tell you guys now what you have received. In the way of um in in the way of your loot. For those who don't know what you just got. Oh, loot. I'm gonna be rocking out on that thing. <laughs> the loot. I, I hope you didn't like passing those graphic checks, DM, because fourth level <laughs> skill <laughs> expert. We got we got expertise in athletics now, maybe. <laughs> and, and they are never getting passed again. Um, it's, a, it's a long shot, shall we say? <laughs> yup. Put mildly. Good lord. Let's just say uh, Victor's been hitting the gym. He's got them guns. Okay, so what you've received is. The Sorry. Chancellor's Crest mm. sure. requires attunement. While wearing this amulet, you can read all writing and speak and understand any language. You can also Ooh. use an action to cast one of the following spells. Detect thought, sending, or telepathic bond. Once the amulet has been used to cast one of these spells, it cannot be used to cast that spell again until the next dawn. You can choose your wisdom, intelligence, or charisma as the spellcasting ability, and you use your proficiency bonus to determine at the attack bonus and saving, D saving throw DC as appropriate. These seals, hey, you, might not, you might not know this, uh, all of you, but uh, these seals are incredibly important to the political notion of Draconheim. Uh, it can't be, a, a, it's illegal to have it in the possession of a mageborn. So that would disqualify both Donna and um, uh, Adrian. Um, Bard, I, I think you would be most appropriate to have it. It says, who hmm, now? If I'm being honest, though, Donna might be the most reasonable member to have the. You will, we will all draw a lot of ire by holding on to that. I don't consider it advisable at all. I have a lot of pockets in this in this coat. <laughs> you can't keep it hidden forever. Victor, women have lots of hiding places. <laughs> it's it's beyond a pragmatic argument. I believe in the law. Even in this broken There's world. No... You, 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 tell, you tell me that the city still has some life. But if it does, then the old order still remains. We can't just tear that down. It's true, but until the or there is order in this chaos, we need every and everything we can do. We need every advantage we can get. We can get. And it is if it makes you too much. If it's too much for you, uh, then I understand. But we need to take advantage we can. I just don't understand what advantage this gives us. This, the, the magic of this seal are not particularly helpful in combat. They won't help us survive the city. They seem to be mostly things that just help a chancellor do his job. Uh, it helps us gather knowledge. And knowledge is victory. Knowledge is power. 
she's right. I don't know whose thoughts you want to detect. I don't know. Uh, the other spell was telepathic bond, and if telepathic bond could be cast by any one right. of us, I uh, what was the last spell, TM? Um, sending. Sending. Again, and ascending is. It's, I feel like it would be preferable to be it be a group thing. All right. So uh, I mean, you talk about an advantage, but uh, I, I don't see any advantage to to you having it over any anyone else. Say. Except for perhaps in the detecting of thoughts, which let's I mean, just say, um, despite your lip service to how you don't necessarily trust the academy, uh, I wouldn't necessarily want my thoughts passed back to the academy, and I think we can all agree on that. Well, the drink of it. Uh, he is also asking to be made a member of the academy. The difference is. Donna has more access to information, information about the city and people who might be of service to us. I think her having the ability to understand more of people's desires and notions, what they want from us, might be better in dealing with the Academy and her and her professors. She has dealt with authority before, and I think maybe understanding the desires of authority here would be a great benefit to us. We talk about this further uh, in a safer location. Um, Veronica, you were leading us somewhere? Indeed. Yeah, maybe let's, we can uh, message to... us over the, over the yeah. weekend or over uh, the week. Indeed. Let's go to Buckle Down. Yeah. And with that, we will wrap for the session. Um, Bartholomew wins the chat choice, and also another fate point was purchased for Donna. So there we go. 1-1. One, one. Two two. Nice. Everybody is caught up. Thank you. If you are watching this on YouTube and you have enjoyed this show and want to be part of it, then come and watch us live on Saturdays, seven PM until eleven PM Eastern. Eh, give or take. And um if you're watching this on Twitch and you want to get caught up with the previous episodes go to youtube.com slash second class leadest and you can watch the rest of the episodes there um if you want to uh be a part of contributing to the show you can go to patreon.com slash single step gaming which is uh a gaming company that we run that uh has a new project coming up but also i use that money to help support the the streams as well uh and if you want to watch some of um jenny's uh streams go to uh twitch.com slash jenny outrageous and uh you can watch her shows live when she is live yeah. haste thank you very much Thank you also for the awesome show. Um, that is going to be it for us, though, however. So if you're watching this on the YouTube, like, share, tell a friend, do all the wonderful things. We're going to wave, and we're going to be on our way out. Everybody, bye-byes. Bye. Bye, Bye, everyone.
Quack.